I really hope this is still working. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to Kilroy's Game Grounds here on Twitch. It's uh, Yes Your Productions. Yeah. Welcome to Yes Your Productions here on Twitch. This is Kilroy's Game Grounds time, and that means I'm going to play some video games. It's my time to shine, I suppose. Before I do, I've got some announcements I want to knock out real quick, though. It working. What working, my love? What what working? What is working? I have to know what is working. I'm worried about an audio thing. I'm I'm assuming the VLC like the music is still coming through. I just can't hear it on my end anymore. Oh, that's fair enough. Uh, I'm I'm mostly talking about what's going on with respect to uh, specifically the the music in the background, which tonight is Bob Duco and Mulligan, who are two local artists that I am a big fan of. Uh, what do you mean the VLC audio is not coming through at all? Like, can you not hear it? Well, that's just fine. I mean, I don't really need music right now anyway. <laughs> Turn on for a second. I don't know what's going on with that. I think somehow the audio just ended up at zero. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at the audio type. You know what? I'll fix it later. What matters right now is that you guys are here to watch me play some video games. So, tonight's a special night. Tonight is Killer's Game Grounds. Oh, right, real quick. Gonna got, I got to put some stuff. First of all, if you are a fan of us and you want to hang out with us, you can always find us on our socials. That's where our Facebook and our YouTube there. You can always go find us over there if you'd like. Uh, we usually post announcements and stuff like that over there. And if you want to come and visit us on our Discord, we've included a link down there. You can join our community. It's constantly growing. We've always got something fun to say. Speaking of our Discord, I've actually got to really quickly go through and announce that I'm going live right now. Uh, with the fun announcement that I'm going to share right now, uh, I'm going to also share it with you guys. And that announcement is... Uh, tonight is a three thousand is a ten thousand uh, emeralds redemption night. Emeralds redemption night. That means one of our lovely viewers, namely Amber, uh, spent ten thousand of their channel points. Uh, in our channel, we call them emeralds in tribute to um, well, in tribute to Minecraft, which we played a lot of early on in this channel. Uh, as a currency. So you exchange 10,000 of those, and you can ask, actually suggest a game title for us to play. In fact, you can say so, and we'll, we're going to guarantee that we'll do it for a full two-hour stream. Uh, if it's myself, it'll be on this stream. If it's Amber, it'll be on her Sunday stream, usually from 1 to 3. If we like the games, we'll, play, we'll just keep playing it. If we're not a huge fan, we'll probably just do it for the one two-hour stream, but uh, either way, we'll try to communicate with you to make sure you, the viewer, gets to see it. So that's, that's our big one right there. We want to make sure you guys get a chance to actually see what we're doing. Okay, I can hear that, and I don't like that. What is that buzz? I hope that went away. Uh, okay, well, what matters the most right now is that you guys are here to join me for it, though. So tonight's redemption is for... You didn't hear the static? That's good. If you didn't hear the static, then it's just on my end, and I'm okay with that. Perfect. I'd much rather it was on our end instead of on your end. So, um, tonight's game is a visual novel called As We Know It. It's, uh, you know what? I don't really know much about it. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out what it is right here, right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load up the game. Uh, not really knowing much about it means that hopefully I won't spoil it for myself as I am known to do. Amber comments on that quite a lot, actually, how known to doing that I actually am. Uh, let's try this out real quick. Okay. And here we be. The game menu. Is that game audio coming through for everybody? Doesn't look like it is. Oh, 
Oh, you can hear the game audio? You hear music. Okay, well, there should be some game audio going on, and that is the background music for the game. Sorry, my audio mixer looks really weird right now. Is that going to be loud enough? You know what? Let's just find out. We'll start the game and we'll see what happens. All right. Content warning. Mature content. Language, alcohol, and drug use. Intense situations. Violence. Mild sexual content. This game is intended for mature audience. Player discretion is advised. Oh, I didn't know it was that kind of game we're playing. All right, then. Let's get started. Looks like we're building a character. Let's change our name. We're going to be Killjoy. Looks like you're stuck to that hairstyle, but you can choose any color you want. And you're... S oh, we're changing his skin pigmentation, so... I'm a white pasty boy, so this is going to be us. We are Killjoy Phillips. It was a tiny place, much smaller than our house had been, but we wouldn't die here if the power went out during a dust storm. Well, that's nice. Mom, Killjoy, can you help me with this? Yes, I always go with Killjoy or Killroy. It's a terrible nomenclature system. Sure, just let me change out of these rags first. I changed quickly and then rushed over to the tub to open the tub with our very limited possessions inside. We had a we had to leave a lot behind to come here. They had informed us of the limited space. My mother sighed and started to lift things carefully out of the box and place them on the various shelves that we were provided. I miss all of our things already. Oh, I see the kind of game this is going to be. It's just a lot of this kind of crap, isn't it? Well... Well, how do I feel about my stuff that I don't have anymore? You know what? I know who I am with my stuff personally. I'm going to say I miss them too. We should try to stay positive. Mom sighed again and just shook her head. I suppose. Mom stood up and started organizing everything into appropriate spot. I went to our new beds and began to lay out the provided linens. The fabric was very soft and free of sand. I almost felt bad touching it. We had a bathroom, kitchen area, and separate beds. There was also a hinged table that could be pulled up from the wall and small chairs that could be tucked away. On the wall by the door was a metallic intercom system with a tiny speaker. The floor was hard and made of vinyl that roughly resembled wood. I had stared at the, sh I had stared at the shower for a while before realizing what it was. I showed mom and we both watched the water fall from the ceiling as we twisted the knobs. It was incredible. There were even fake windows by the bed featuring paintings some incredible landscapes with green trees and water, something I'd only ever seen in books. It was small and it would provide a lot of privacy, but it was safe. It was home. Sorry, it wouldn't provide a lot of privacy. The crackle of the intercom made me jump. I looked at Mom and we both looked at the small speaker. The voice was understandable despite the static. In one hour, I need all new citizens to come to the city center for orientation. I hope you all find your accommodations comfortable and efficient. If anyone has any questions or concerns, please remember that we are always here for you. There was a pop, and the noise stopped. I started to look over the map that had been in the welcome basket on the table. The layout was simple, but I'd probably still get lost. I was used to wide open spaces, and here there were tunnels and paths all over the place. Let's study the map. I studied the various hallways and tunnels that connected the, us in this odd underground city. I narrowed my eyes and tried to will my mind to memorize the lines and words. However, my vision started to blur with the effort. I blinked and decided to try focusing on the path from our residence to the community center. Do you think there will be signs pointing to where to go? Probably. There were some that led us here after we got inside. Before I could uh, respond, there was a loud buzz. Apparently, the little intercom also notified us when someone was at the door. Mom glided over to the slide back to slide back the latch and pull it open. I began to reach for a weapon, but then I remembered they had been confiscated. Intruder. Hey, guys. Just checking in with the newcomers and introducing ourselves. 
A tall woman with short black hair and an attractive smirk sauntered into the room. She wore the uniform of the security force, a uniform I was starting to get used to seeing around here. She pointed at herself and took a friendly glance around the room. I'm Eveline Turner, but just call me Ava. I'm assigned to this block, so if you're having any problems, let me know. She winked at me, and I could feel the heat of a blush in, uh, form in my cheeks. Her outgoing personality filled, me, filled the tiny room. So is this who we're going to pursue? I, I don't have an opinion yet, so... Oh, that's so sweet of you. Is it just you in charge of everybody on this floor? Not just me, ma'am. It's me and a few others, but I'm the smartest and toughest, so... She just shrugged, as if that was the only explanation we would need. It was kind of charming. Overall, she seemed very good-natured. Is the community center hard to find? No, nothing is hard to find down here. Just follow the signs, bore the crowd. Lots of people are heading out there now. Oh, Killjoy, maybe we should get going then. So, you're Killjoy. Yeah, I'm Killjoy. I'm a huge Killjoy. That's me. I started to reply when my mother jumped in. Oh my goodness, how rude of me. Of course. I'm Camilla Phil Phillips, and this is my daughter, Killjoy. It's me. I'm the daughter. Ava grinned and waved off my mom's concerns. No worries, Miss Phillips. Just adjusting to the change of living down here can be eh, hard for you newcomers. Her grin faded, and a pessimism settled over the room. So, uh, how are things up there? Not great. The dust storms seem to be happening more and more, and the nearby power station is having a ton of issues. I shrugged. Things only got worse up there. Never better. Ava nodded and gave me a small smile. I won't hold you two up any longer. I should really get back to making the rounds. I'll see you both around, okay? It was really nice meeting you, Miss Turner. The feeling's mutual, ma'am. <sighs> okay, well, we're 15 minutes into this, and I'm, I'm not sure that I'm feeling it yet. We'll see, though. We'll see. Mom and I said our overly polite goodbyes as she left. Mom seemed to like her, which was good, especially if she was part of the security force. When I saw that, when I saw that name, I had originally shuddered. The word force just sounded so aggressive. It was probably just nerves, though. Shortly after Ava left, we ventured out into the halls to make our way to the community center. A large Welcome to Camden banner had been hung over the, above the doors to the community center. The room was noisy and crowded. There were, few, there were chairs facing a small stage and tables lined with coffee and water. Bulletin boards were on the walls with various flyers and notices tacked onto them haphazardly. The stage held a podium and in front there were two clean but vintage speakers. Vintage speakers, you say, eh? That interests me. Well, what a dude. The man I assumed to be the mayor was talking to some security officers on the stage. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. He stood tall and easy with a commanding presence. He looked important. I sat down in an empty seat with my mom and looked around. People were re reacting to this new situation in a variety of ways. A woman near the back of the room was sobbing, and the man next to her was just staring blankly off into space. Ah, it me. Mostly, there was an air of relief. We had been accepted, chosen. We were safe now. A hush fell over the crowd as the man stood to address us. He was handed a small microphone, and we heard the familiar crackle of speakers. Probably the mayor. I love this name thing they do, where it's just like, probably the mayor, intruder, stuff like that. It seems as if everyone has made it here safely. I'm glad. <sighs> He smiled and looked around the room. Mayor Rick Davidson. All right. You may know who I am, but allow me to introduce myself anyway. I am Rick Davidson, the mayor of Camden. Yep, he's the mayor. I know a lot of you are scared, traumatized by your life on the surface. Know that now you are safe. Together we can build upon this community to create something magnificent. A home. Sounds nice. He clasped his hands together and held them up for everyone to see. There was some hesitant applause. First thing you all need to know is that Camden welcomes you. He flung his arms out wide. Ugh! I don't know why I'm so tired. You know, today was just a busy day, though, in my life, so maybe that's why I'm tired. Explains the yawns, at least. And there was more applause. Stronger now. It's doing the, the whole thing. It's like, praise the sun! In Camden, we know that cooperation is the key to a comfortable life. This is why I must ask 
all of you to prepare for the Camden Career Festival on, on Saturday. Seems a little like you're jumping the gun a bit here, Mr. Davidson, but all right. It's a yearly celebration to welcome you and help all of you find your place within our modest little society. As for choosing your career, there are a wide range of options. Each department will be hosting an open house in the evening starting tomorrow. You are all encouraged to attend as many as you like until you find a good fit. We will need everyone who is capable to contribute. And in turn, I am confident that we will continue to thrive in Camden together. The applause was much louder and more enthusiastic now. And once it died down, he continued to speak. If work or anything else is stressing you out, I encourage you to take advantage of the many relaxing pastimes available here in Camden. Most are free. Though many of your basic needs will be met, your career will earn you enough beads to purchase a wide variety of luxury items. Fabric, entertainment, liquor, oh, and, and, oh. Have you ever, any of you tasted an apple? People began to move through the room and hand out a small, a small red things. I looked down at it and shared a look with my mother. We had heard of apples. I'd even seen a picture of one once. I bit into the firm flesh and it tasted sweet juice. I looked down at the glorious apple in my hand and heard my mother squeal in delight beside me. Incredible. I smiled at her and continued to eat while the mayor waited for everyone to settle back down. He then continued to speak, but I was st I was stuck in daydreams. Apples, nice fabric. It was all so incredible. I glanced over at my mother, and she was gazing at the mayor, completely enraptured. She clutched the apple tightly, only one bite missing. Mom? She only looked at me and smiled, nodding her head. Then she returned her attention to him. I glanced around the room and saw a lot of similar looks. If they weren't being distract directed towards the mayor, then to the apple's... In their hands. Kind of interesting, that one. <laughs> Suddenly, everyone stood up and began to cheer. I joined in, trying to hide my confusion. He must have said something, but I, I had missed it. Mom, why are we clapping? He's amazing. He really is. I think he's inspired optimism in everyone. It's just wonderful. I guess. What are we going to do for jobs? Mom stopped clapping for a moment. I'm not sure. We'll need to attend those open house things. I wonder what kind of jobs they have here. If there is a job for an apple taste tester, sign me up. I held the apple core up for her to see. She seemed to remember her own apple and took another bite. I'm going to go try to say hi to our new mayor. You should walk around and mingle. Get to know our new neighbors. I didn't reply, but she'd already started to walk off. I sighed and glanced around the room. I kept trying to tell myself that this was my life now, but I wasn't sure if it was sinking in. It was weird to not be searching for food or watching out for strange shifts in the wind. I glanced around the room. There were some people who clearly weren't new, weren't new here. They stood near a large bulletin board. So many people. The noise echoed really badly in here. I closed my eyes and rubbed the bridge of my nose. My mom was right, but did I really want to try talking to any of these people that I, when I still felt so on edge? We're going to check out the bulletin board. Why not? The area around the bulletin board was crowded. There were lots of flyers listing these schedules, events, instructions, and also listing various positions for jobs and volunteers. Several very official-looking people were stopping people to talk. A woman glided through the crowd and stapled a sign-up sheet for something by the many others. She took a deep breath and then smiled at everyone. Gloria. I'm Miss Miller, but you can call, but please call me Gloria. I run the Community Affairs Department, so if you have any questions... Her voice projected over the nearby voices and got a lot of people's attention. She glanced around and caught my gaze, her smile brightening. Name hi, Killjoy is... I cleared my throat and tried again. I'm Killjoy, I mean. Hi, Killjoy. It's nice to meet you. Are you looking at the available, uh, available positions? Shit. She was still talking to me. Specifically me? Yeah, and, well, everything. That looks fun. I pointed at a sign advertising a winter celebration. The very idea of winter was foreign, but I had read about it in books. A long time ago, it used to get really cold and sometimes freeze water. Uh, sometimes frozen water would even fall from the sky. Yeah, I noticed that as well there, Bambi. That is the weirdest way I've ever seen anybody introduce themselves. I am, here's my last name, but you can call me, here's my first name. Oh, that was my idea. I thought we could, re we could create new traditions in the community and use the archaic ones as inspiration. Her smiled fate. Is this game translated or was that, is that just a typo I'm catching? Her smiled face, like that's past tense smile, faded a bit. Winter is a weird theme, I admit. But I thought it would be an interesting novelty. It's good to keep people busy. That's the whole point. 
She tapped her temple gently. Like this. Like maybe, I'm Gloria Miller, please just call me Gloria? That would have made a lot more sense. Times are hard, but we can't let it get us down. That's true, I suppose. Her natural smile had returned somewhat. Are you good with people? We always have openings in community affairs. Uh, let's let's think about what Liam does. How how is Liam with people? I mean, I do try my best, but I try my best. I think so. There weren't a lot of opportunities to be. Really? You don't spend much time with others on the surface? No. According to this, you really don't. The writers are native English speakers. Oh, that's fair enough. Are you one of the people who were born? Are you one of those people who were born down here? I suppose I gave myself away, didn't I? Yeah, so you've never been to the surface. Nope. Oh, but I have to run. It was lovely meeting you, though. I'm sure I'll see you around. Yeah, of course. She nodded and ducked back in the crowd, vanishing amongst the swell of bodies. I looked back up at the board and made mental notes of the various flyers. I'd never remember all of it, but I suppose I could come back later. I caught sight of Mom, chatting happily with the mayor. I had no idea how she'd managed to get through the throng of people that surrounded him. Yep, there she was. Sounds like my wife, honestly. She can just get places. Amber can just get to anybody or anywhere. Frequently, that superpower is how me, uh, myself and my roommate have made it to the front of audiences at uh, live concerts. Everyone was starting to leave, so I decided to head home. Mom would know where to find me. The tunnels were getting noisy, and more and more people began to appear as they went about their daily lives. I picked up the pace. There were so many people, it just made my skin crawl a little bit. That's just you being pushy. But you have that ability! A lot of people were looking at me with open curiosity. Something about me must have been screaming, Surface! Maybe Sam was falling out of my hair or something. I paced around the tiny room that was my home and waited for Mom to show up. As soon as I had started to worry, the heavy door opened and she appeared. Were you waiting for me? I want to go to bed, but I didn't want to lock you out. I have a key. No, you don't. I pointed towards her key that she had forgotten on the table by a box of fresh clothing. Ah, well, luckily for me, I have such a wonderful daughter. Yeah, yeah. So, how was the mare? You seem smitten. She waved me off and dug through her clothing to find something to sleep in. He's a nice guy, that's all. Are you curious about him? His family made this whole place, funded it and everything. He asks for nothing in return, just, just wants everyone to live a better life. I feel like there's a lot more there that we're not getting. Which is fine, you know, if, uh, if he's hiding shit, that's his decision, I guess, his prerogative, but... Me if I had money. Yeah, I know, right? Like I said, smitten. Mom laughed and retreated to the bathroom to prepare for bed. I was already good so, to go, so I curled up in what was now my new bed and tried to be grateful for the nice blankets. The small space was unnerving, but I slept facing out to make it easier on myself. I'd get used to it. I could hear her humming, and it made me smile. I know it could count on Mom to get a, a crush on a guy our first day here. Her romantic escapades had gotten us into a bit of trouble before, but hopefully it wasn't something we would need to deal with here. Huh. Okay. The lights inside our quarters blinked off, and I tried to get comfortable. Mom switched on her white noisemaker, and I closed my eyes. I'd been shocked that she had grabbed such a thing, but now it was drowning out all the weird sounds that were echoing through the place. Luckily, this place had electricity, and the mayor seemed generous with it. Tomorrow, I would need to find something to do until I could go to a career open house. It felt strange to not be sealing the cracks and watching out for a storm, but the door was sturdy. There were no windows. I was so exhausted I couldn't have stayed awake all night, even if I had wanted to. I'm guessing these are all the possible dating ones here. Hmm. When the intercom finished its annoying good morning message, I rolled over in bed and saw that mom was already up and dressed. 
We need to see if we can buy a coffee maker somewhere that still works. Coffee was one of those luxury items, but I was pleased to learn it wasn't too expensive. Why don't you get ready real quick and come with me to the community center? They serve coffee there every morning. Hearts yes, stars no. Okay, are stars just like your relationship with that individual? And on like on a friend level? Or is that for free? No, but it's cheaper than buying the stuff to make it yourself. I groaned and squeezed my eyes closed. Sleep more or get coffee? I miss coffee so much. Like re real coffee. I can drink decaf, but I can't drink real coffee anymore. So this... This is a real thing I used to deal with, was do I go get coffee or do I just keep sleeping? One is gay, one's a child, and one is mom. One is a mom figure. Okay. Good to know. We're getting coffee. I rolled out of bed, got ready, and followed mom to the community center. Coffee. Need coffee. So I could go for some coffee tonight. Uh, yeah, I think my decaf would be nice. I saw the table lined with steaming cup, uh, uh, coffee cups, and I began to head over, but Mom tapped me on the shoulder. Kildred, look, it's the mayor. I just want to clarify, Bambi, is, are you trying to write coffee? Because you wrote coffee question, qu e question. Because, yes, it is me asking if, I, if someone could make me a coffee, you know, <clears throat> in the other room there. <clears throat> You know, you or Selena, either one of you, you're both available, I hope. If not, don't worry about it. No, I tried to erase the question mark and I missed it. Ah, got it. Her voice almost girlish with excitement. Yeah, but where's the coffee? I didn't care about the mayor unless he had a cup of coffee for me. Go ahead and get a cup of coffee. I'm going to go say hello. That's fine. If she's doing all that stuff, then if you're still available, I would really appreciate it. But if not, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get one after the stream. Go ahead and get a cup of coffee. I'm going to go say hello. I blinked slowly and watched Mom saunter off towards the group of people that apparently included the mayor. I should grab her a cup of coffee, even if she doesn't probably didn't need it. She always was a morning person. I headed over to grab a cup of coffee, and there was a guy standing near the table. He was glaring into his coffee. Is it that bad? Scowly guy. Yeah, no... No, not really. It's just not what I want right now. He blinked and looked up at me. Then he spoke again, hesitantly. I'm Jude. Here. He reached down and handed me a cup of coffee. Thanks. I'm Killjoy. I really only came for coffee. I didn't realize there was going to be so many people here this morning. I should have known, though, since your newcomers just arrived. He frowned and glanced around the at the crowded room. I didn't know how to respond to his comment, so I just tried to smile and not feel awkward. There were more and more people coming in as we stood there. Luckily, there was plenty of coffee. I miss having my own coffee maker. Why is it so hard to find one that works? He sighed and pulled a rubber band out of his pocket and wrapped it around his wrist. I wonder if I'll, uh, I wonder when I'll stop craving a cigarette. He snapped the rubber band against his skin a few times, leaving a small red welt. He'd spoken without waiting for a reply. I almost started to suspect that he... Hadn't really been speaking to me at all. But he glanced at me expectantly. I suppose it was my turn to talk. Does it help? I don't know, but I have to try something, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Jude shrugged, then he glanced around the room. I hope some of the new of you newcomers come to the open house for agriculture this week. Then maybe I won't have to work the morning shift anymore. You work at one of the greenhouses? The underground gardens of paradise. Fresh leafy greens, just the thought made me made my mouth water. Yeah, the place is huge and requires a lot of upkeep. Everyone hates it because of how humid it is in there, but I don't mind. Oh. He shook his head and scowled. It's whatever, you know? They let me play my music for the plants, so I don't mind sweating. Brian's my boss, but he's very laid back. He stopped and seemed to think of something. Look at me intently. What do you know about plants and crops? I know to not eat it if it makes you sick. Yep, that sounds about right to me. Other than that, Jude snapped his rubber band and seemed to be thinking over what I had said. So what kind of boss is Brian? You said he was laid back, but what do you mean by that? Not much of one of all at all, honestly. If you come to the open house, maybe you'll see what I mean. I know how to 
An awkward silence fell between us, which seemed to make Jude a little twitchy. I'm going to go. I'm sure I'll see you around. Right, goodbye. With that, he left. I took another sip of coffee and watched him walk away. He seemed to be as coherent as I was in the morning. I took up a cup of coffee and grabbed the spare for Bob. After I headed it to her, I sat for a while. I said, oh, I'll talk about different things. The coffee wasn't strong enough, and I was starting to get hungry. Mom, I'm going to go home and make something to eat. We had been given a modest package of food and with the promise of more. Mayor Rick Davidson says, Killjoy, you have a wonderful mother. I'm sure she gets home. I'll make sure she gets home safely. I didn't like that he had picked up on my nerves about, her le about leaving her behind, but Mom only ducked her head with a wide smile. All right, honey, I'll meet you back at home later. Uh-huh. Do you have your key? She nodded and pulled it out of her pocket to show me. I smiled at her, at her sheepishly. I was overreacting. Okay. Sorry, Mom. Just You know I just worry. Thanks, Bambi. Thank you so much. I know. Now go on and get some food in you. I'll be back before the open houses begin. I nodded and left. I couldn't help but think about the fresh produce that waited at home. Things I'd never tasted before. I ducked into the hallway and made my way through the people going about their day. Getting home wasn't too hard. Just follow the signs that led towards my block. Everything was actually laid out pretty well. It was different than the surface, where everything was just sort of shoved together from ruins. When I got back home, I sighed with relief. It wasn't exactly quiet... But there weren't people all pressed up against one another here. I distracted myself with food, portioning everything out carefully. The fresh stuff would spoil if I wasn't careful. I glanced through the welcome packet while I ate. Hours passed before Mom finally returned. Again, she was in high spirits. I smiled and tried not to show that I was concerned. The mayor seemed like a nice enough guy. He wasn't in a relationship or anything. I should simply wish her the best. It was probably only one-sided anyway. He was the freaking mayor after all. Oh, Killjoy, Rick is so wonderful, isn't he? He insisted he'd escort me all the way here. Oh, really? Is it dangerous for us to be alone in the halls? I don't think it was like that. I think he just wanted to talk to me more. She shimmied her shoulders with pride and began to swan around. Uh... Hey, Fester, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? She shimmied her shoulders with pride and began to swan around the room towards the food. That's nice. So have you thought about the career open houses yet? Which one are you going to? Shouldn't you be sleeping? <laughs> Is it the thing we're going to do to Fester all the time? We're just going to say, shouldn't you be in bed? That just feels mean, though. Mom paused and I started to deflate a bit. I'm not all that good at anything. We always just did what we needed to in order to survive. It seems strange to have a job. Sleep is important. I'm definitely feeling tired today, so... You'll probably catch me yawning one, at least once or twice there, Fester. I'm not all that good at anything. We always just did what we need to survive. Seems strange to have a job. Nuh uh. Because it's earlier tonight, so I guess he can. I guess he can stay. Because my wifey hasn't banished me. Ah <laughs> ah! I wonder if that's going to happen at some point tonight. If you get banished, you know, that's okay. We, I understand. I'll, I'll miss you, but you can always come back. It's only 1.30. Jesus! Go to bed? No, you know what? You know what? Screw that. Fester, if you don't work tomorrow, then you should hang out. I mean, it depends if Dark sees me in here. I, is Dark going to banish you? If Dark shows up and wants to hang out and wants to banish Fester, at least Dark has to show up at that point. I'll let Dark make that call. <laughs> I'm glad it's I'm glad everything's going well then uh, anyway let's go to the next bit of dialogue yeah but this is like a proper society right yeah it's wonderful isn't it I smiled and nodded despite the anxiety I didn't see a reason to worry the lights hadn't flickered too much I hadn't heard a roar of a sandstorm and no one had tried to rob or kill us in our sleep that's a perfect day right there don't get robbed or killed in your sleep. I'm, I'm down with that. 
Things were different now. Better. I just needed to adjust. So, where are you headed tonight? Any jobs interest you? I shrugged. Just going to check out the open houses and figure it out from there. She nodded and I apprehensively left to attend the first open house. I walked into a large open room with several tables all lined up. A uniform had been set up and there were lots of little packets with information. Move camera to the top of text. Oh! Yeah, I can do that. Like that? Or should I go... Maybe I can go over here. How do I look over here? What if I was up here? I don't know. Where do people want to see me? Because obviously if I'm down here, I'm covering things up, right? Like I'm covering up... I'm covering up dialogue bits right here. I don't want to cover this up because there's a little icon up here. I mean, it's a calendar, but it's here. I just feel like I'm going to be covering characters if I'm sitting up here. That's the thing. I'm concerned I'm going to be covering up a character if I'm here. I'll take your word for it. You know what? Who needs the calendar? <laughs> Only you, right? Just so sit on it. I guess I could just sit on this like this and just like cover it up. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll take Mammy's advice and I'll sit right here. This is a good spot for me. Put my arm right here. Just, no, I can't do it. My arm immediately disappears. <laughs> yes, we all listen to wifey's here. Now you're one of the cast. It's a nice fit. Yeah, it's true. Actually, I could be one of the cast. Hello, I am now in the game. I had barely taken two steps inside when Eva bounded up next to me. Killjoy, you came. Please note... No, number one rule is listen to wife. It's true. It's true. Always listen to the wife. There's a reason. Actually, that's the reason why we're called Yes Dear Productions. Because Yes Dear is one of the sentences I say the most. I've been very good today. Thank you, honey. Yeah, today was a bit of a day. But I'm glad I could help out. Not sure what I had imagined, but this wasn't it. It looks so boring. You bring coffee. Yes! Best wife ever. Best wife ever. Ava frowned briefly, but shook it off. I think a lot of you surface landers are used to a very different kind of authority. This is set up for the people, to protect them, not to control them. Hmm, what a concept. Maybe if our law enforcement did that all over the world. I'm sorry. I'm getting political. Jolly nice of you milk two sugars. <laughs> <laughs> I also am going to have uh, milk and two sugars there, uh, Fester. <laughs> she placed a friendly hand on my shoulder. I think I'm going to go after the security guard because she looks like she could kick my ass and I'm into that. Come on, I'll show you around. No one will give you a better tour than me. All right. Since she worked here, she'd have all kinds of valuable insight. Show me all the secrets, okay? She grinned at me. You got it. I followed Ava as she pointed things out. She seemed to have a story for everything. That's my locker. That's the cameras. But they're as unreliable as hell. These are the holding cells. She opened a door into a narrow hallway with the small secure rooms. No one was inside, thankfully. The idea of being confined in such a tiny place made my stomach drop. Holding cells? Yeah, someone acts up too much. She glanced at me and her smile faded a bit. Hey, not people like you. Yeah, girls can kick your ass. Uh, girls who can kick your ass are sort of your thing. They are indeed. Um, there's a bit of context behind that. But I've always been into women who were better at shit than me so that they could either A, teach me how to do it better, or B, I just could feel awesome about knowing that, you know, there's a woman out there who could straight up destroy me. And uh, when I did martial arts... I was learning from women who straight up, they could all break me in half. And it was kind of awesome because there's just something, something to be said about that kind of thing. And now here she is, the greatest woman in the world. Hooray. Thank you, darling. You're 
welcome. Do you want me to stay and play the game with you while Luna's gone? No, nah, that's okay. Okay. You can stay if you want, but I'm just playing for you, right? This is uh, your 10,000 Emerald Redemption. <laughs> I know. I was going to do it with you, but Luna's late. Well, when she gets back. You don't need to justify your kinks to me. I don't judge. It's not as powerful a kink as you think, but yes, it is a bit of a thing. So it looks like we're going to be joined now by Amber, or Bambi. So she won't be in the chat anymore, which means you can just yell at her here. Yay. Wait, who's yelling at me? Why? What did I Nobody's do? Nobody's yelling at you yet. Oh, good. Eh. Here she be. Ah, yeah, don't show me too far out of the way. Still going to be on camera, too. I don't know. All right. I'm still there. I have a place to hand on my arm. You don't look like a criminal to me. Well, <laughs> Where do you find out how criminal I can be? No, Liam, bad. Okay. Don't be criminal. <laughs> Shows what you know. <laughs> yeah, that would be your answer. Ava laughed. Why, hello there. Welcome to the show. <laughs> hello. Yes, Amber is here now. I am here now. Here on Killer's Game Grounds. Mm -hmm. Ah, Okay. These cells are hardly ever used. Most things get re are resolved quickly. That's all. That was all I meant. I know what it's like on the surface, but it's different down here. Really. Now, want to see something really cool? Sure. I fix my hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Ava led me to a back room and opened the door into darkness. There was a snap, and it lit up to reveal several weapons. weapons. Oh shit! <laughs> right? We only ever use them when we're dealing with invaders. Doesn't happen often. Where is it? Yeah, it's weird we don't get to see it. I want to see the room of weapons. I love rooms of weapons. <laughs> I have a whole hockey bag just full of Nerf guns. But it's secret. You know how to shoot these? I picked up a large gun. It was heavy and cold. I'd seen plenty of guns. I just never held them. They were hoarded by Sandman. I'm not going to do it. Nope. I'm not going to do nope. it. Nope. That's and they learned that you had one. Sorry, what? Hoarded. H -O -A yeah, there should be an A in there. Yeah. I, just, I know that... Was, There's a lot of typos in this game. It's I'm noticing. Fine. It's still a fun game. I handed it back to her and she held it out, striking a pose. <laughs> Strike the pose. I've begged Vince to let me take this home, but he won't let me. <laughs> I mean, both. <laughs> yeah, but like, which one? <laughs> uh, I don't... Play, I, I'm complain. all about the too bad, because okay. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that if someone wouldn't let me take the gun home, I would say, too bad. Yeah, didn't say it. That's a real shame. It'd be nice to have something like this within reach. Right? Okay, come on. <laughs> I want to see the gun room! No, it's a secret. Ava led me back to the main room and outlined what, my, what would be my various duties if I joined the security force. Protecting people, fighting off anyone who attacked Camden, doing rounds to watch out for stuff, lots of paperwork. Apparently she hated paperwork, but seemed to enjoy all the other aspects. Okay, if you like paperwork, you're an odd one. Well, yes. But well, there are people out there who really there like it. There are people out there who like paperwork, because it's organized, and it's like everything has a place, and it's easy to do. Like, if you're that type of person, you know what There he do. is! Vince the boss. We went back to the boss, as Ava called him. He didn't seem bothered by my earlier absence and told me to call him Vince. I'm a little disappointed that Vince is not one of your dating options. Yeah, I know, right? Like, he's a single dad. That's fine. He's a single dad? Yeah. Can our mom date him? No. Fuck off. I don't want her to date the mayor. He seems I like know. a cult leader. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was really disappointed that he Vince is not one of your options. He seemed content with that introduction and left me with Eva. I wasn't sure if this was the job for me. It sounded dangerous, but exciting. I moved into Camden hoping for security. Maybe the best way to make sure I was safe was to take matters into my own hands. Vigilante! No. <laughs> I know. Security. <laughs> As everything wrapped up, I grabbed an informational packet, and then I headed home. We're home now. Mom was already in bed, so I crawled up into my own and went to sleep easier than I ever had. Hmm. So we've met these three. We just haven't met Micah. Oh, interesting. I met Micah first because I went to explore instead of looking at the map. Oh, yeah. No, I read the map. And that's how I met Micah when I played. 
So it's interesting See, that you haven't met Micah yet. But I prefer, okay, so like, but that actually goes to show the difference in our personal personalities. Mm -hmm. I am very much a, let's look at the map. I'm like, establish I want to go plan places. And create a route. I want to see people. I want to talk to everyone. Like in Disneyland even is a prime example. Mm -hmm. um, that's not good for that monitor. Uh, and when I'm in Disney, when I was in Disneyland a few years ago, um, we had a map. And the first thing I did was I looked at the map and evaluated where I wanted to go, how I wanted to do this. Whereas Amber, if she went to Disneyland and it, like, I'm assuming you just ripped just, right off to the yeah. first ride. I mean, you I was find, also right? 10, so. I was also 10. Oh. Yeah. I had a you map. Said a few years ago. That's a little, little more than a few. 18 years ago now, yeah. 18 years ago. I must have been, yeah, about 10 years old. And I straight up. I wonder if we were there at the same time. Doubtful. Very doubtful. <laughs> what time of year did you go? I want to say the winter. Oh, okay. I think I went in spring. You know what? I'll ask my parents. They'll tell me later. And then if it turns what out we the were chances? there, pretty low. <laughs> it's 365 days in a year. Uh-huh. The likelihood that you and I happen to be at Disneyland in the same... We were there for a week? Uh, we were there for like three days. I was there for like four or five days. So yeah. The likelihood that our same three to four or five days... Three days crossed over out of 365 mm -hmm. is it's very low. low. But then I, It's but like one in a hundred... I know, but like we also grew up in the same city without meeting each other and then went to a different city and met each other. True. Anything could happen. <laughs> ah! Ah! I sat up trying to shake the nightmare. I couldn't remember what it was about. Something with hands. Hands! No. Hands. See, I'm okay, covering. This is the, yeah, but it's you. That's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop things. Where are you going to put it? Over there? We're going to live up here in the corner. Fine. We'll live in the corner. We're going to look like weird and disembodied and there's only half of me well, now. Well, only down here works. I haven't changed the size of the camera frame yet. Okay. I mean, do whatever you want Fine. to do. Fine. We will continue to live right here. Okay. There. Okay. Good. Very good. Killjoy? What? <laughs> Killjoy. You don't like the name? No. It's stupid. Everything is named Kilroy or Killjoy for me. Okay. Yeah, ugh, just a bad dream. Ugh. Ugh. She nodded. Do you want some breakfast? I waited for you. I leaned up on uh, in bed. Mom began to look at me. Mm. For a brief mom scan, she smiled. After a brief mom scan, she smiled. I rubbed my eyes. I wasn't hungry, but mom probably just wanted the company. Okay, let me get up. I got up and pushed away the last wisps of the nightmare. It was as good as forgotten. Nope. Then I sat at our thin fold-up table and ate fresh fruit and porridge. I miss eating oatmeal sometimes. I was starting to think I could live on fresh fruit and vegetables alone. I used the recipes provided, but I'm not sure this is how everything is supposed to taste. <laughs> Better than what we used to eat. I shrugged and left out of the and left out the times that we were forced to go hungry. I think I'm going to head out to the community center for coffee. She peered down, eyebrows raised slightly. I nodded. Coffee. I can't believe they have enough of a supply to be so flippant with it. Coffee every morning is really nice. It's wonderful. Maybe, maybe the met. I cleared my throat and stood up, then dusted myself off and made a show of heading towards the door. <laughs> coffee. Coffee first. She laughed and nodded. Stood and placed the dirty dishes in the sink. The sink that had running water. It was incredible. <laughs> Mom opened the door and we stepped out into the hallway. I made sure to grab the keys. This is happening a lot. Okay. It, usually people are more in the middle. You're right. That is happening more than I expected it to. Do you want to go back into the bottom? I don't care. You were upset about it covering the dialogue. I just said it was covering the dialogue. It True. Doesn't... We turned a corner and then almost ran into the mayor himself. He looks like a cult leader. This guy. I mean the robe, yeah. This guy looks like he runs a cult. Oh, excuse me. Well, fancy bumping into you here. What brings you out, out to this block? He cleared his throat and straightened his shirt. Oh, I, uh, well, I like to walk around. I used to jog, but this seems more manageable. Camilla, how are you liking your new accommodations? Everything is absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad we managed to get a spot in Camden. He smiled, and I swear I saw him blush briefly. I keep wanting to read it as Mayor Dick Davidson. 
Hey, Rick and Dick are both abbreviations. For also, Richard. Rich are yeah. all abbreviations for Richard. Yeah. He could be Dick Davidson. I don't want him to be Dick Davidson. <laughs> all right, then. I can't I imagine know. how you were living before, before you came here. Someone walking in the hallways shouted a greeting to the mayor. He waved, uh, and he waved in reply. It's rough up there. I miss the extra space, but our home here is much more luxurious. I don't miss the random power outages either. I'm, I'm with her. Yeah. I yep. also don't miss mm -hmm. random power outages. He visibly, she visibly shuddered. We use geothermal power here. It's a lot more reliable. We should all have geothermal. That would be nice. If we could all have it, we should have it. Everything is maintained regularly. I make sure of it. He nodded and crossed his arms. He had a look about him that said, yes, he did make sure of it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in maintenance if there was a malfunction. I'm very grateful. I don't understand a bit about it. Thermal genes, but yes. It sounds lovely. Even happier that I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Thermal genes? Geothermal. I don't know. All right. Clearly she's not that That's smart. the truth. I'm just happy the lights stay on. We have, uh, we even have cold water. And hot water. Whoa. He smiled and nodded. I know the rooms are small. They're just lovely. So clean and efficient. Running water. Oh, that alone is enough to make me happy. <laughs> Mom beamed at him and I saw him relax somewhat. I cleared my throat to ruin it. <laughs> ruin the energy in the air. <laughs> Mom, I'm dying here. Coffee? Ma, I'm dying here. Coffee? No. No. <laughs> right, right away. We were on our way to the community. Liam, yeah, Liam, I'm not going to do that. Community not center. the mom's voice. <laughs> Don't let me keep you then. I'll see you around. Camilla and Killjoy. We separated and I eyed Mom suspiciously. The mayor seemed okay, but he was the mayor. What was he? What was she thinking? He seems like such a gentleman, you know? Uh-huh. He's also the mayor, the guy in charge of everything, and who owns this whole place. So? What? Does that mean he can't be a gentleman? Why are you looking at me like that? I know. Nope. Still the mom. So you shush right there. I can tell you about to lecture me, and I don't want to hear about it, young lady. <laughs> Fair enough. I rolled my eyes, and she wrapped her arm around me. Don't fret over me. I'm not that old yet. Or helpless. I can take care of myself. Good. Do it. I know. I know. I just can't help worrying anyway. After we got some coffee, we learned about the library. We had seen information about it, but it hadn't occurred to us that we could borrow books. <laughs> for free! Aww. Mom had only brought a few for, uh, of her cherished romance novels. <laughs> of course her mother reads romance novels. Mm -hmm. That were battered from frequent use. It would be good to read something new. The library was cluttered with books and a set of desks off to the side. Apparently, they held some kind of educational services here. A guy, probably a few years older than me, sat behind the counter looking down at a book. He hadn't bothered to glance up, but I could only imagine that he was the librarian. Ah, there's Micah. Nope. What? Nope. For That's okay. Trevor. I don't know who that is. You will. Okay. Hey! Huh? So, are you the librarian? Yeah, I guess. Librarian question mark. I looked at mom and she just shrugged. She seemed content to watch me try to interact with him. <laughs> I like our mom. Our mom is fun. <laughs> yeah. How do I get a free book? He sighed and grabbed the box and set it up on the counter. He opened it without looking away from his book and he handed me two blank index cards. Look at other cards to see what to do. Ask for clarification. Look at other cards to see what they do. That's what I did, too. When I reached for the box with the other index cards, the guy sat his book down and glared at me. Write your name and home index number, then give it back to me. Whenever you take a book out of the library, I'll note it on your card, and when you return it, I'll cross it out. Sounds very clever. We did as he asked, and he handed the cards, and handed the cards back to him. Without another word, he placed them back into the box. Kate, move. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh and returned his attention to his book. Before I could walk towards the shelves, the door behi opened behind us and someone else walked in. He was taller and handsome, about the same age as the quiet, rude librarian. Not rude librarian. Hey, Trevor, you're not scaring everyone away, are you? <laughs> he kind of looks like he'd be from Boston. 
yeah. librarian or Trevor California set his book down and stood up. Hello, welcome to the library. Can I help you find something to read? As he spoke, his voice was deadpan, and I didn't know how to respond. Mom simply walked away towards the reading material. I should have followed her. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He doesn't bite. I'm Brian. I run the greenhouse. That's Brian. He runs the greenhouse. Ah. <laughs> I would not have guessed. That's Trevor. He's the librarian. No shit. <laughs> oh, hi. Gonna sit back down now. Where do you get all of that youthful energy, Trevor? Yeah, I just did the wrong voice, but I don't care. <laughs> We're the same age, Brian. <laughs> Brian turned his attention to Trevor, and I was left to my own devices. I walked around and took a look at everything that lined the shelves. The place was small, but overall, nice. The two guys seemed completely in their own little world. Trevor was trying to read, and Brian was trying to get and keep Trevor's attention. <laughs> ah. What? Seems legit. Yep. I had finally started to figure out the organization system when I heard Mom coming. What do you think this? Is, what do you think is up with them? <laughs> Mom sidled up next to me, holding two new books in her hands. Both had covers that depicted a man and a woman clutching each other oddly. <laughs> ah, Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. I don't know. How many books do you think we're allowed to check out at once? Not sure, but I suppose he'll have to tell us, won't he? I nodded and looked around the room as Mom returned to the romance section. There were tons of books lined up and neatly displayed, and it would be really wonderful to have something new to read. What did I want to check out? Something practical, something easy and relaxing. I'm not a practical book person. I grabbed XOXO Tales of Jerks and Laughs. <laughs> that title is amazing. It's terrible, but sure. I love that. Yeah. And I met back up with Mom. And we headed towards the counter. I waited to see if Trevor would react to Mom's pile of books, but he only took our cards and notated the books that we were taking. Brian smiled in a friendly way, but he didn't speak again until we started to walk away. Then it was only then it was only to Trevor. We spent the rest of the day organizing our tiny home and reading the books we'd borrowed from the library. When the time came to attend one, uh, one of the career open houses, we went our separate ways. I tried to pick a good field to check out, but I had no way of knowing what would be interesting to me or not. So I just headed to the medic's open house. I walked into the clinic and was hit by a chemical smell of medicine and illness. Yeah. No. It looked like a waiting area with places for patients hidden behind the curtains. There was, pa there were pamphlets. Pamphlets? Oh yeah, I didn't notice that last time. Set pamphlets. up on the table, and a lot of people dressed in crisp white clothing. Okay. She looks like Dolly Parton. If Dolly Parton was a doctor, that's what Dolly Parton as a doctor would look like. She's a bit bigger than Dolly. Like, you gotta bring that waist in quite a bit. <laughs> I don't know, I'll throw a corset on her and you, yeah, she's Dolly Parton. Mm -hmm. A woman with big blonde hair walked over and took my arm. Hello there, darling. I'm Iris Marie Jackson. But please, just call me Iris. See, that's Everyone better. else does. <laughs> Southern like, Belle, definitely. Yeah, oh yeah. She led me over to where everyone was sitting. I saw the doctor approach. A man That's in a crisp like uniform it. approached me. He seemed friendly, but distracted. Too. Good night. Hope you all have a good stream. See you next time. Bye, Fester. Yep. Bye, Sleep Fester. Well. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Hello, my name is Dr. Micah Evra. Everett. Are you interested in joining the medical field? I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're a bitch. He turned to the others and spoke to everyone. I'm sure that you are all at least somewhat aware of what we do here in the clinic. It's important work that helps keep everyone healthy and alive. While we teach you f some first aid, we, uh, you can help us by keeping records and maintaining the clinic's sanitary requirements. Seems legit. He means writing people's names down and clean and... <laughs> now you sound Jamaican. No, that was not Jamaican. <laughs> no, just the... the there, there was a, a lilt to the last two words. And clean, and the way you said it was sort of, yeah. Anyway. I'm trying to do the southern drawl. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, and clean. Vax got his first vaccine, vaccine vote. No, no, it's woo. woo. Yeah. I wish I could do like a, a controlled party thing right now, but I don't have it as a setup thing. <laughs> That's exciting. That is so much fun. Congrats. Mm. That's got to feel good. 
Uh, yes, Iris is correct. While we do this, I can teach you as much medical knowledge as you can stand. The more mm -hmm. doctors and nurses we have, the safer we'll all be. True. Mm -hmm. How about a tour? Iris clapped her hands together as she looked around at everyone. Micah rubbed the bridge of his nose. Come on now. Get close. I don't want to lose my voice. I started walking towards Iris, but felt compelled to stop and talk to Micah. He might get annoyed if I didn't stick to the tour, though. Ask Micah what's bothering him. Okay. As much as I like Iris, I'm going to talk to Micah. Okay. I backed away from the tour group and walked up to Micah. Sadly, Iris is not one of your dating options. Boom! I know, there's only four options, and you meet so many people, and there's people that find much more interesting. From a game development standpoint, it makes perfect it's sense to have no, that. No, I get that. it. It's easier to only have the options. That you he have. looked up from the clipboard at me and at me with curiosity. Yes? What's going on? You seem stressed out. Stressed? You just do not know me very well. This is my typical behavior. He gave me a small smile and started to turn away. Well, sure, but you're the main doctor, aren't you? If something is ever wrong with you, then who do you tell? Why are you reading it like that? It's how I talk to people. No, it's not. And it is how I talk to people, actually. You should hear me at work. Oh, pardon? It's if you get sick or injured. I appreciate the sentiment, but there are very capable medics here. I assure you that if I fall, someone will be able to replace me. Oh, come on. I didn't mean it that way. You seem so tensed up. Your concern for me is touching but misguided. He finally lowered the clipboard and looked over at me. Looked me over. I am simply worried about the turnout. I was hoping to attract more newcomers. Perhaps you can enlighten me. Okay, get food. Yep, have food. See you in a bit. Food is good. Why doesn't anyone want to work at the clinic? I don't do medicine stuffs. I know you don't. You would not do well at the clinic. I waited for a moment, and but he really seemed to want to know what to say. It smells kind of gross in here? He didn't even crack a smile. It's hard to return to a life of blood and death when you just left it. It's not for everyone. Well, shit, if that's your recruitment speech, because if it is, I now know why you're understaffed. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. He gave me a small smile and adverted his eyes. This is why Iris is leading the tour right now, not me. He nodded, and then he walked away back to whatever it was he was doing. I joined up with Iris as she was giving the final details of her tour. And that's the sugar. And that's that, sugar. <laughs> Once Iris was finished talking, everyone started to leave. I grabbed a brochure and looked it over. A job at the clinics could be dangerous. I'd be surrounded by sick people. Ew, sick people. They're sick. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I wanted to be responsible for someone else's well-being. Though it might come natural to me after so many years of looking after mom. Hmm. I headed home, but spared a final glance toward the nervous doctor. He appeared to be counting. Oh, We're going to join security, though. That's already what I've decided. Yeah. The idea that there's a whole room of guns? Of course you would. That's fine. I'm not saying don't do it. If I could have a whole room of guns, mm -hmm. I would. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I, could, I can't have a whole room of guns. That's way too expensive. And it's a lot of guns. Yeah. Then you have to clean them all, maintain them all. I opened my eyes and stared up at the ceiling. There was a stillness in the room, so Mom had likely left. I knew there was almost nothing to do until the career opened. Now it was it made me feel anxious. <laughs> Mom had probably gone to the community center for coffee and had a chance to see the mayor. I might as well get myself a cuppa before I start to aimlessly explore Camden. I ate until I wasn't hungry, got dressed, and savored the chilled water. Part of me wanted to get used to this new life. The other part wanted me to avoid it. What would happen if this didn't last? We could be kicked out. I'd heard of that happening. I needed to hurry if I wanted warm coffee. I grabbed a cup of coffee and stood near the back of the room. I spotted Mom, and she was happily chatting with someone beside her. The mayor, not far away. Something had my mother very excited, but I wasn't sure what. She could tell me. She would tell me as soon as she got a chance, though. I was sure. I finished my cup of coffee and glanced at the exit. It was getting busy here. Louder. Time to go. <laughs> it didn't take long for me to meet Mom's eyes. I waved, and she returned the gesture. With that accomplished... I turned and retreated into the halls. I stepped out into the hallway, eerily quiet except for the noise bleeding out from the community center and the hum of neon lights. I leaned against the cool wall to try to steady my breathing. What the hell is wrong with me? Are we having an anxiety attack? I mean, you're underground. I felt like my skin was crawling. The door opened and the noise escalated briefly. I looked over and saw Jude emerge. Our eyes met. He nodded as a greeting and then began to walk away. 
What you wanna do? I feel like I should call out to him so he can give us one of his rubber bands so we can have an anxiety thing to play with. Yeah, that doesn't help. It just leaves a welt. It hurts. But it's only if you pull it hard. Yes. Why would you be pulling That's what it he's hard? doing. He's snapping it against his wrist. It's a self-harm method. What do I do here? What do you want to do? I don't know what I would do. Wanna I want to go home. You just said you want to? Okay. I shook off the weird urge to follow him and headed home. Whatever you, whatever was making me antsy could go away if I took a nap. I still had time before the open houses. Yeah, I just would want to go home. If I'm having the anxiety attack, I want to go home. Yeah. I called out. I sat on the my bed and savored the quiet. I looked around the room and felt a heavy sadness settle over me. My breath shuddered and I felt tears coming. Mm. I buried my face in my hands and let my emotions crash over me. I knew I'd feel better if I didn't fight it. There were too many emotions dancing through my heart, all of them confusing. After a few minutes, I felt lighter, but also really tired. I curled up into my bed and hoped Mom would wake me if I fell asleep. I was done with today, but I still needed to go to an open house. I'd only dozed off for a few minutes when Mom woke me up. Now I need to go to the community center for their open houses. When I walked in, I could see that this open house was very popular. There were a lot of people here milling about. Gloria saw me and came up to me. Her movements were graceful, but her smile looked off. Are you interested in working in the community affairs? We have the most fun. We put together all of the events, and we were the ones to keep Cam who keep Camden running smoothly. Not for me, but definitely something the roommate would be all over is doing event planning. <laughs> Yeah, she might. Except she doesn't really one. want to do that anymore for a living. No, it's stressful. Yeah, but it's too bad. She's really good at it. Oh yeah, she's great. We facilitate communication between Camden and other cities. Help maintain inventories and broker trade. Lots of fun stuff. Just sounds dull. Promise. <laughs> she motioned for us all to sit it's and continue fun on. Fun for the right type of person. Yeah, I'd agree with that. If you have the right attitude and the right mentality, like, it's probably the perfect job. Yeah, if you're like big into like event management or sales or something where you like communicate with other people and you like to have like a communication uh, between like other cities or between like the community members and you want to be like in control of communications, it's a great job. Yeah, if I'm being perfectly honest, it's the, not you. currently of the three jobs we've been presented, this is the this is the second least likely job for me to take. The second least likely? You would, oh yeah, you wouldn't. I would medical. not be caught dead working in medicine. Yeah, fair enough. You're not a medical person. I am so uncomfortable with doctor's offices. Yep. Getting the vaccine is going to be an adventure for me. You'll do it. You'll be fine. Yeah. I know I'll figure it out, but if... Yep. Anyways, uh, she motioned for all of us to sit, and she continued with her whole spiel. I realized she hadn't just been talking to me, so I quickly sat down and listened. <laughs> Gloria outlined a typical day and the various things new people would be in charge of. As she spoke, the mayor walked by quietly, but immediately pulled attention away from Gloria. <laughs> Please ignore me. Too late, dude! Mm -hmm. Nonsense. You're an integral part of the community affairs, after all. She waved him over so he would stand beside her. While working in community affairs, you'll be working close with our beloved mayor. I need a strong team behind me to help cultivate the kind of society we all dream of. I definitely need to be in security so I can take this fucker down. <laughs> He's a cult leader. What? If you say so. Look at the dude. Okay. Gloria nodded, but I thought I saw her eye twitch. Nobody likes this guy. Gloria has issues with him, yes. Understandable. Yes, and that takes a lot of work. Fun work! <laughs> Rick and Gloria started to outline and explain various job tasks, but their energy was very tense. Then it was over. When it was over, everyone dispersed. The mayor was quickly surrounded. Gloria began to adjust things that had been left on the table. Your mother hey, is Gloria. calling. Hey, Gloria. Yeah, my mother is calling. We... I will have to call her back. Okay. We got an hour left in the stream. Yeah. It's a little early to take a break. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to have to call okay. her back. Okay. Uh, hey, Gloria. Good evening, Killjoy. Did you have any questions about working in this department? She looked up and smiled at me, but it was forced. Maybe I should say something about her uh, to her about the mayor. Be blunt. Mm -hmm. Not really. Just noticed some tension between you and your mayor. What? No, we work together very well. Mm -hmm. Her smile became even more forced. You just seemed a little annoyed. I'm just tired. I had an early morning. She glanced towards the door, and I noticed that a lot of people had left. 
I'll see you around. All right, Kildroy? Okay, get some rest. I took the hint and left. Mom woke me up with a strange idea. Let's go for a walk at the gym. What? They have a track and stuff. Let's go check it out. But she pushed a cup of coffee into my hands. Here. I looked down at it and blinked slowly. Oh. Okay, then. I guess. <laughs> Great. Can't say you need coffee first. I sighed, got ready, and followed, sipping the coffee carefully as I did. Huh. It's kind of a neat gym facility. Mm -hmm. I walked into the gym with Mom and noticed rows of workout equipment. There were windows that overlooked the tiny, uh, the greenhouses, giving the room a luxurious feel. Mm -hmm. Cool. Our gym overlooked the jogging the trap and looked, looked similar. The jogging track looked inviting, and I would be close to the windows if while I walked. I think I'll just walk around the track. What about you? I mean, this is an accurate statement of how yeah. I am, but I would love to exercise more. Like, you could be both. Both are true. Unfortunately, you can't click both. I'm going to go with love, love to exercise. I could see myself spending a lot of time here. It's actually pretty nice. I love that they have these training pels, punching bags, mm -hmm. weights, and the track. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's a very well-rounded training facility. Mm -hmm. I can walk for a bit, but then I'm going to jog. As we started to walk along the track, a gigantic man and a small girl walked in. Heck yeah! See? Told ya! Hey, you're going the wrong way. Mom and I stopped and looked over at him. It was the head of security. You're supposed to go clockwise. Oh. He pointed up at the small sign that, had a, that, that said as much. I hadn't noticed it before. Dad, stop! You're so embarrassing. Oh. Thanks for letting us know. Killjoy, right? I recognize you from an uh, open house. I'm not gonna do no, that, boys. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna quit that now. Yeah. I nodded, though I was surprised he had remembered me. There must have been a ton of people there that night. This is my daughter Tabitha. Sorry to interrupt your workout. Just don't want to see anyone get hurt. From going the wrong way on the track, people come in here and zone out and run into each other. Sounds crazy, but I've seen it happen. He shrugged his massive shoulders. It's nice to see you come here with your daughter. She squeezed me closer. I'm Camilla, Kildred's mother. It's nice to see more people at the gym. You ladies have a great workout. He smiled and his daughter began to desperately pull him towards the weights. <laughs> Mom and I resumed walking, this time in the proper direction. He seemed nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad he told us about the rule. Now we don't look like assholes to anyone who else who walks in. <laughs> After warming up, I left Mom behind to jog. It felt good to stretch my legs. Once I had some spare money, maybe I could afford to purchase a radio or CD player. I had owned a CD player, but it was stolen years ago. Oh. A Walkman. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. We live in this age of streaming music and stuff like that, but a Walkman. I had one of those. It could fit into my hoodie pocket, so I'd mm -hmm. pop it in there and put in my earbuds and listen to music. Oh, I had over-ears with my Walkman. No, nah, like I had earbuds. Like the little ones that, like, the teeny baby kid Not ones. like these real deals? Oh, yeah. Yeah, now we have like six pairs of these. Like, I don't think earbuds were even a thing when I had my first walk Walkman. Or at least I didn't know about them. I also had the over-ear ones originally, but I bought earbuds eventually. Yeah, like when I got my first iPod, I got earbuds. I still had a few precious CDs, even though they weren't in great condition. They'd probably still play. Hmm. When Mom was finished, she, we headed back home. She seemed to have more energy now. Exercise gives you more energy. That's true. When we arrived home, we made lunch. Since we had a bit more time to kill before the next open house, we each sat around and read our books. It was nice to not have to worry about anything happening while we were relaxed. Mom, any idea what you're going to sign up to do? Maybe. It's a position that is hard to get, so I won't tell you and jinx it. Really? Haven't you been going to the open houses? Yeah, I have a backup plan. She shrugged and turned away from me. I still felt curious, but let it go. She would tell me eventually. Anyway, it was time to head to the next open house. I tried not to stress over it. It was the last one I had any interest in. I picked ones that I thought I would like. Tomorrow was the Camden Career Fair, and I'd have to make a choice. This is really cool. The air was warm and wet. Very wet. There was, a gre there was green everywhere. I looked at uh, everywhere I looked. It almost took my breath away. The smell, a strange earthy scent mixed with produce and fertilizer, was strong. 
I was so distracted I hadn't noticed him come up to me until he snapped his rubber band. Hey. Oh, uh, you startled me. Really? He snapped the rubber band against his wrist. Then he twisted it around his fingers. So it's nice working here and stuff. Brian's over there. <laughs> he pointed towards Brian, who I'd met the other day at the library. So you just want to look at the greenhouse, or did you actually, do you actually want to work here? Just wanted to see what it was like. Yeah. Just curious, sure. I need a job, though. Let me show you around. Brian is busy doing Brian stuff. Brian stuff? Don't ask. He's not a bad guy, but he's easily distracted and kind of useless. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Jude began to lead me through the greenhouse and showed me where all of the workstations were. It was a lot more paperwork than I had realized. Lots of things to check and double check. I wouldn't be harvesting anything, at least not until I had been here a while. Apparently they had to deal with thieves from time to time. There was even a black market for some of the narcotic plants. Of course there is. It's kind of surprising, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not getting asked emergency. questions about microphones. Okay, not an emergency. Not at all. Cool, good. I get hit up a lot by people looking at mics and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a vertical garden. Doesn't need sun or oil. Soil. Soil. Oil. 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 Don't put oil in your garden. Put it in your special after. lighting, and I've lost you. No. All you'd have to do if you work here is clean. Fill out paperwork and make sure everything is running like it should. That doesn't sound so bad. It isn't. Why should I work here over anywhere else, though? You get to listen to the music I pick out. You don't have to deal with a lot of people. It's pretty peaceful here, actually. You don't get a bunch of free food or anything. And I'm not playing music you can hear at a... Uh, and if I'm not playing music, you can hear a constant hum from the machines over, the ma over in maintenance. He pointed over behind him and I noticed the noise. The sound wasn't too obtrusive, but... Maybe if you went deeper into the greenhouse, it would be. Too bad about the free food, though. I guess everyone would be working here if that was true. I guess you should go and sit and listen to Brian's pitch. Listen, past tense. Oh, yeah. He's about to start soon. What you want to do? I don't know. What? I don't know. Do you want to stay with Jude? He's been really helpful, and so far, Brian's just been a dick. <laughs> yeah, Brian's a little useless. I'm going to talk to me. He glanced over at Brian, who was staring uh, to look, starting to look over the group of newcomers. Well, I guess it is better than the alternative. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, Jude's great. Jude led me towards the back of the greenhouse and pointed out towards a bulky CD player. This is my CD player. Oh, Nice. I looked it over, and despite it looking pieced together with dreams and duct tape, <laughs> it looked functional. Dreams and duct tape. Is the sound nice? Yeah, I found it and fixed it up. If you ever need, if you ever find any broken electronics, you can bring them to me. Really? Jude shrugged and sat on a barrel of water he seemed to be using as a chair. <laughs> he poked at some of the flowers in a pot on his desk. What's that? Just some seat woodruff. I need it to. I need to water it. He looked at, we looked at each other for a moment. He seemed to be waiting for me to say something. Shit. I want to know what his musical tastes. Mm -hmm. What kind of music do you like? Do you have a lot of CDs? Grunge rock from the 1990s. Yeah! I thought you'd like Jude. Jude's Woo good. Woohoo! Oh, okay. <laughs> now it's a tie between him and Eva. It was for me, too. The other two, I'm like, eh, whatever, you suck. Gloria's nice. Eh. Micah's a bit of a standoffish tool, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Like, so far, I like three out of four. Now it's Eva or Jude, though, based on their personalities mm -hmm, and what they're mm -hmm. like. I really like Jude right now, mm -hmm. but that could change the more I learn about Eva. Because so far, those two tick two of my boxes for what I really like to do. Music and fighting? Yeah. Yeah. See, I like music and plants, so Greenhouse was perfect for me. And Jude is obviously the perfect choice for you. So you, you went after Jude, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm either going after Jude as well, or I'll be going after Eva. Like, Eva was definitely my second choice, and I tried to get to know them both, but then just, like, things started ramping up with Jude really fast, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm going with Jude. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah? It's not like there's anything new to being recorded. There are a lot of cities working on printing presses and audio recording devices. It's never a priority, but one day soon, I think. Once he shrugged. Basic needs are met. We could actually have art. Yep. 
He shrugged like it was no big deal. I had no other places where... Uh, right. I had no idea where... Uh, oh. I had no other... I had no idea other places were doing that. Do you want me to read one of the characters? Maybe read for all of it, because I can't do this anymore. I, I, I got it. I got it. What about you? Is there a genre you like best? I had some random CDs, but there wasn't a big enough selection to pick out different styles. Don't say that. Now I might have to piss Brian off by playing something for you. Won't you get in trouble? Jude flipped out the CD player and turned a knob on the front. I'll keep it quiet, but no. He can't afford to piss, off, uh, to piss me off since I'm the one who actually runs this place. <laughs> Fair enough. It's you. He played something winding uh, winding and distressed with lots of instruments I didn't quite recognize. It did have a strong, angry sound, which I guess is what Jude liked. <laughs> Jude looked over and noticed that some people had begun to disperse. I guess the introduction stuff's over. You should probably go. I do have work to do tonight. Before I leave, anyway. All right, I'll see you around. Okay. Bye, Jude. He turned away and grabbed a bucket of tools I didn't recognize. With the event over, I made my way back home. I liked the greenhouse, but it was muggy and hot. Brian didn't seem like he'd be great to work for either. Jude didn't seem so bad, though. Mom was in bed reading, and I was looking through our books to see what to uh, read when there was a buzz at the door. I opened the door and saw Eva in the hallway. Sorry, I know it's late. We're just making rounds, and I thought I'd check in with you guys and make sure everything was going, to, was going good. I bit my lip and tried to respond. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Mom called out a greeting from her spot on the bed. She must have been preoccupied with her book. You sure? I'm feeling stressed out. Honestly, I'm a bit stressed, I guess. There is just a lot going on, you know? <laughs> she paused and looked me over for a moment. Yeah, I guess it's a lot to think about. Big choices and stuff. She glanced around the hall. Hey, come on. Aren't you working? She shrugged. It's fine. Come on. I shrugged and followed her. I looked back at Mom before closing the door, and she waved with her face still hidden behind the book. Hmm. She led me through the halls, and we ended up at the entrance. Why are we here? It's nice and quiet. I thought it'd help you think. Clear your head. It was peaceful here, honestly. Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing me here. It does feel very isolated. But that's good, right? In a way, I mean, it's not like I'm alone. I smiled at her and kicked out and kicked at some sand on the ground. So you're trying to figure out which career to sign up for? Yeah, and I know which career you think I should do. She smiled, looked away, and scratched behind her ear. No, I mean, whatever you choose, I'm sure it'll be great. Thanks, Eva. She laughed. So I should uh, get back, but you can hang out here for a bit. If anyone comes and asks you, just say you got lost. Okay, thanks, Eva. She blushed and backed up a few steps. Yep, yeah, I will, uh, I'll mm -hmm. see you later. Cute. You know, for a tough girl, she's really, really endearing. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. She left, sending me a final look before vanishing. <laughs> I took a deep breath of the dusty warm air. It was a good reminder of why I'd wanted to come to Camden in the first place. I was down here, safe, and out of the sun. The only thing I needed to do now was take my place in this society and work. That shouldn't be so hard. If I can survive on the surface, I can do this. I headed back home. You got a heart with Jude already? already? Oh, see, this is what I mean. Things wrap up with Jude fast. He's just so lovable. Today was the day. I opened my eyes slowly while Mom hummed and danced around the room. I know you're awake. You might as well get up and get dressed. If I must. Mom only laughed at me and went back to humming. I forced a smile. It isn't like I had a choice. I either get a job or get out. You're in a really good mood this morning. I'm looking forward to the festival. They're going to have lots of food and play music, and it'll all be decorated. <laughs> really? How do you know? Mom shrugged, a knowing smile tugged at her features. I've just heard, you know, everyone has been talking about it. I sighed and tried to get myself clean and dressed, but my hands shook a bit. <laughs> there was a crackle on the intercom lit up. It was announced that the community center was ready for everyone, so we headed out. The place was considerably busier than it had ever been. Mom was right, though. Music played in the room, and there was food and coffee set out. Newcomers milled about, but I noticed other residents hanging out as well. Everyone seemed to be in pretty good spirits, despite the underlying obligation. Several departments and stations where you could go and sign up for a career. The four I investigated were no different. Everything was really loud, and the noise echoed off the walls. 
I wasn't quite ready to sign up for something, so I looked around to see if the, I could find someone to talk to. We're going to go talk to Ava. <laughs> Ava leaned up against the wall near the security sign-up. She was smiling and chatting happily with other people. I began to approach, and she saw me. Uh, and as she saw me, she moved away from the others. She still had a smile, but it was softer than before. Killjoy, I was wondering if I would see you. You were looking for me. Of course. I wanted to see what you'd sign up for. Uh, don't worry. If you don't choose security, we can still um, hang out and stuff. <laughs> you agree with me that those of us with one vaccine dose are superior to those with none? I don't think I ever said superior. Maybe safer. Um, more fortunate. <laughs> I want my first dose. I know you. I want it. You're not getting yours till like September, huh? August or September August, is the yeah. August is the earliest I can expect it. Exactly. And I'm so mad about it. Let our elders get it first. They're more at risk anyway. I know. She rubbed the back of her neck and looked away. We do have a lot of free time. Yeah, I'd like to spend my time at the gym. She flexed and smirked at me. I have to keep in shape. Sometimes guys don't take me Bad seriously as a security <laughs> officer. So I gotta show them to take me seriously. Or else. She laughed. It was a boisterous sound. <laughs> well, I take you seriously. You should come by sometime. I can teach you self-defense tactics. Everything about this person is awesome. Yeah, no, this is exactly who I thought you'd pick. I'd like that. I know it's supposed to be safe around here and all, but it couldn't hurt to be prepared to defend myself. Exactly. Anyway, I just ate, but I'm already hungry again. Want to grab something? Or while I grab something in a, in a second? Sure, coffee would be great. How do you like your coffee? I like that there's an option for I don't like coffee even though you just asked for coffee. With some sugar and cream. I like to cut the bitterness just a bit. I like my coffee with some sugar and cream. How's your coffee, Liam? It's pretty good. Yeah. It's a little sweet, but okay. it's pretty good. I guess I'm used to making you a bigger coffee. I put in the same amount of sugar I would have in a bigger cup. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Save. Where's yeah, I should save. You can hit empty slot. You have to hit the... Oh, yeah. I gotta hit an empty slot, yeah. right. Okay, now you go return. It's at the bottom. There you go. I didn't mean to do that. I, <laughs> I right know. clicked on it. It did that. Got it. I prefer tea, but a cup of coffee actually sounds pretty good right now. Oh, yeah? Spend enough time with me and I'll convert you into a coffee addict. I don't know Maybe. why, but people who prefer tea are just, like, instantly more attractive to me. <laughs> she shrugged, but smiled and walked off to grab some snacks and coffee. Snacks! When she returned, Snacks. she had a plate overflowing with food and a cup of coffee and a coffee cup that she held out to me. Hungry? Always. Plus, I can't cook worth a damn, so I love it when they have food. Aww. It's me. I know. Eva's just me. Mm. Is she? Uh, she's more attractive than I'm ever going to be. <laughs> no love. I can't cook either, but everything tastes better down here. It's the greenhouses. They're a miracle. And the best part of Camden. She began to eat, and I slipped out, and I sipped at my coffee. She had managed to make it just the way I like it. And I thanked her for that. Ava smiled, but then continued to eat. We spoke about the festival and the food while she ate, and I drank. I looked over at the sign-up sheets. Time to pick something and get it over with. We're going to do security. Yeah. I signed up for security. I may need to brush up on my fitness. Mm -hmm. Choice made. Now, I wanted to find Mom. I should let her know. I was also curious about what she had signed up for. Finally, I saw her. Of all places, she stood beside the, the mayor. mayor. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Yum. I decided to wait to approach. I didn't have the energy for Mayor Davidson. He required too much mental effort for me, and I already felt pretty drained. Unfortunately, Mom saw me, and they both approached. Why was the mayor coming, too? Because. Did you sign up for something? Yeah, security. The mayor nodded his head in approval. I'm sure you'll do well in that department. What about you, Mom? I honestly had no idea. She hadn't done anything but hint about it. <laughs> I'm going to work for the mayor. What? As my personal assistant, it's past time I had one. With our growing population, I could use another hand to help me with the management aspects. I looked between them, not sure what to say. I didn't realize that was a career option. It wasn't. I offered it to Camilla personally. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Is that nepotism? I mean, sort of? Basically hiring the girl you want to date because... Is it nepot it doesn't nepotism imply that it's family? I mean, usually. Hmm. That's why I said, is it? Yeah, but that's why I said, maybe. Is this nepotism? 
solved the murder. The mayor's the murderer. Okay, Vex agrees. Yeah. Yeah, Liam's yep. been saying he's, he's a, a cult, fucking leader, cult leader, leader the whole time. Look at this guy. He's a cult leader. Him in his stupid coat. Yeah. The stupid coat does make him look like a cult leader. And the more we strong. got to talking, the more I seemed to be a perfect fit for it. And I just love that I'll be personally helping the community like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> you mean the mayor? She was beaming, so I mm. smiled back at her. The mayor stood confidently, a friendly smile on his face. His stupid face. No, that's not fair. Mom was thrilled, and perhaps the mayor just wanted someone chipper around to bring him drinks and pens or something. <laughs> this was fine. Totally, totally fine. fine. That sounds really cool, Mom. I glanced around the room at this new community that I was a part of now. That I was now a part of. Almost everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves. It seemed as if all the newcomers had signed up for positions. There was no need to stick around, even though the celebration didn't seem to be winding down anytime soon. I could try to stay and socialize or go to Rocks and home. I'm going to go home. Yeah, that's a very Liam answer. I was tired. I wanted to go home. The sooner the better. I'd never been around so many people so often on the surface. It was overwhelming, but Mom seemed completely comfortable with the change. It made me wonder if something was wrong with me. She was fitting in so well, and I felt so out of place. Aww. I made excuses to Mom and the mayor, and I left. I Extra needed some peace and quiet. <laughs> I crawled into bed and went to sleep. Yeah! Yeah, with Eva. What is standing? Like you're standing in the town. Oh! In the city? Whatever yeah, it is. In, the, in, the, in, in Camden. The city, yeah, in Camden. The morning went by slowly. I got dressed and ate and just sat around for a while. My mind was reeling from everything that had happened in the past few days. Today was my last day before I started working at my new job. And I considered one of mom's one of my mom's romance novels as for a moment, but then the crackle of the intercom made me jump. Good afternoon, everyone. We are now hosting several games in the community center. Board games, card games, you name it. Non-essential personnel are free to participate, as are all residents who are not otherwise preoccupied. They during snap, the speaker shut off, and I was left with a choice. Read Sexy Man Man number five. Sexy man, man. Sexy man, man. Sexy man, man. Or check out what was going on in the community center. Community center! Yeah, we're not reading sexy man, man. Uh-oh. Especially not number five. There was bound to be something interesting to number do. One Anything was, was better than just sitting there in this small room all day. I was starting to look I was starting to look forward to my new job. Yeah, number one was okay. Number the one sequel was, good. was the sequel was okay. But by the time it gets to five, it's just hot garbage. At least it would be something to do. Yeah. The hallways weren't too busy. Maybe a lot of people had decided to stay in their rooms. Or maybe they were all the community center. When I walked into the community center, I didn't see too many people. I thought it would be packed, but it wasn't. The few people who were here were standing in small groups. There were a dozen or so tables set out with things to pass the time. Snacks had been provided where they typically offered coffee. Snacks! Snacks. Also, if you click on the calendar, you can see the it tracks the dates. Neat. So we're on week one, day seven. I mean, you could leave it that way because the calendar literally shows you nothing. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. I missed what mom had said there. Oh, Another whoops. table had some odd looking board games I'd never seen before. Then there were charades. I could see a small cluster of people miming and laughing at some, uh, something. I felt more interested in checking out the noisier areas so I could just quietly listen. They probably wouldn't notice if I wanted to sneak away either. Arm wrestle or charades? <laughs> let's let's play arm. Let's yeah. arm wrestle. I, I, I love that you were making surrounding. different choices than I did. Okay. Because I get to see different different options. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I headed towards a group of people hooting and surrounding two people locked in arms. A heavy I man rested on uh, a heavy hand rested on my shoulder, and I turned to see who the hell was touching me. <laughs> yeah! It was Vince with I'm a big so goofy grin and Tabitha hey, was standing beside him. I am a too. A pot of coffee on the table. The liters of water. Uh, nor they don't actually change the picture between events or like between things that happen in this room. So even when it's like an event day, it's still the same picture. But normally it, it is like we go coffee for coffee. Coffee and water, yeah. Uh, but today it's supposed to be snacks, but they just don't have snacks. a picture. I don't know why they didn't slightly alter the pictures, but hey. Yeah. It's fine. Whatever. Come to arm wrestle. Think you can take me on? Ooh. I like my arm in one piece. <laughs> I really wish you could date Vince. I'm very disappointed that we can't date Vince. No, but I'll try. <laughs> no, but I see no harm in giving it a go. Don't break it, all right? No need to worry about that. Vince uh, sat down at the table and held out his arm. Tabby covered her face and groaned. Dad, it's my turn. But Tabby, 
I'm not sure Killjoy can handle you yet. Oh. Whatever, Dad. Let me try first, then you can give it a go. I shrugged. Sure, why not? I can see where this was going. Vince shared a look with me and I gave her and I gave a slight nod. I sat down and held up my arm and we clasped hands. Vince put up a good show of a struggle, so I played along. After a few moments he gave and I slammed his hand down on the table. No way, Tabby Cat, you have to defend our family's honor. Aww, Aww cute. She beat you? Yeah, can you believe it? <laughs> well, it's my turn. I grinned and held out my hand to her. She sat across from me and eyed me suspiciously. You're not a cheat, are you? Cheat? Of course not. <laughs> Tabby took my hand and pressed it with all of her might. She was actually pretty strong, so I made a show of fighting her off as hard as I could. After a few moments, I felt her slam my hand against the table, and I pulled it back to shake it. You are not kidding. Your daughter is way stronger than you. <laughs> Told you. Cute. I know. It's because she grew up on the fresh fruits and vegetables. <laughs> oh, you were born here? Tabitha nodded. Someone yelled out Vince's name, and then they were both pulled away. Oh. I'm so sad we can't date Vince. Pinches uh, you because you aren't wearing any green. I changed out of my green clothes. He did, because we have a green screen. He yeah. specifically was like, I was wearing a green shirt, but I can't wear it now. I was going to wear green on stream, but if I had, I would just look invisible. And that would be less ideal. Yeah. I mean, maybe it would have been perfect, actually, because then you, I wouldn't have been covering the words. <laughs> That's true. That's why we're up here. Damn, maybe I should have put on the green screen. That would be screen. awesome. I mean, you can still go change your shirt for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> no. Nah, I'm not going to get up and move. That's too much work. <laughs> After some time had passed, I felt I decided to call it a night. I had to work in the morning. It was an odd feeling. <laughs> Mom had returned late and happily updated me on all the gossip she'd heard. Uh, of course. I listened to her go on and on until I finally fell asleep. <sighs> hey, our standing went up in the community. Woohoo! <gasps> wow! Oh. Hey, Ariel Richie! Hello, guys! Welcome, everybody! Are, yay! Welcome, Sorcerer Finch! <laughs> Welcome, KTF 1996! Welcome, Moxio! Welcome, Fish and Game Report! Welcome, Ariel Richie! Welcome, <laughs> everybody! Welcome, Raiders! Yay! How's everybody awesome. doing tonight? Oh. <gasps> uh, I'm so excited, guys! Uh, <laughs> sorry you're watching me play a very anticlimactic game tonight! Aww! <laughs> oh my god, so much Pika so Power much in the chat! <laughs> Ah, the chat is just Pika Power. Aww. So overwhelmed by Pika Power. I love it. Thank you guys so much. This is awesome. All oh, right. I am playing, uh, I'm playing a game called, wow. You have. What is this, this game I, even? I have this game, but y'all are pretty cool. Um, Thank you. Yeah, this is, as you know it. I have no idea what this game is. Yes. Uh, this okay, is a sense. visual <laughs> novel dating simulator type of game. Um, yeah, it basically it's like a post-apocalyptic or dystopian future uh, where you are living in a bunker and like you just got the bunker. So we've just gone through the first week where he picked his career. I guess she picked her career. Yeah. Um, Cause he is playing a she. Yeah. Um, and so we've picked a career in security and he is pursuing the security lady Eva, I think. Uh, I had decided. Or Jude. That's so, so silly. silly. It is so silly. Um, he's only playing it because I made him. Yeah, so... I redeemed 10,000 channel points to make him play this game. So yeah, uh, to anyone who's joining us for the first time, you can redeem 10,000 channel points once you get them to actually suggest or make us play a game. There uh, are some caveats on that. Either a game we already have or under 20 bucks, I believe. Yes. And yeah, under one 20 bucks stream. on Steam or something. Security doesn't seem pretty... It does, does seem, seem pretty important mm -hmm. in the post it does, actually, which is one of yep. the reasons, but the really big reason was one of the things they hinted at was a giant room full of guns, and, uh... He wants the guns. I want the guns. He wants the guns. I, I want to play with, I want to play with the shooty, with shoosty boys. With the shoosties. With the shooty shooty bang bangs. Monkas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. To switch devices. Yep. Cool, cool. Hey, my, hey boy, my boy, thanks for the thanks. follow. Thanks, yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and start the next day. Start the next week. Here oh, we yeah, go. Oh, yeah, we're in week two, yeah. <laughs> I got up and headed out to grab a cup of coffee before work. I walked in as several as everyone gathered around Vince. Someone pushed a uniform into my hand and then urged me for onwards. Automated gun turrets? Uh, don't think so, but we haven't seen the guns yet. Yeah, that's true. All right, children, if you're new, pay attention. I don't like to repeat myself. Assignments are on the board by your name. If it doesn't make any sense, ask someone. You must carry one of these around at all times. He held up a small black box. It almost looked like some kind of radio. If they go off, come back here immediately. It means that there's an emergency. So whatever they were would go off in case of an emergency. 
Okay. Like a beeper? I really hope it's not a gun that just goes off on your hip if you have to get called back. No, it's like a it's, beeper. She I, said it looks I, like a radio. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to hope it is. If Guns you're not fit, like then, you don't, then, then you need to get fit. We don't have easy sit-around jobs in the security force. You need to be able to run, fight, and lift. Dost thou even hoist? Uh, if I see you aren't making an effort, then you're out. All right, then. Looks like we're jamming it up. Yay, Jim. You'll have to try and find another position in an easier department or be exiled. <laughs> that sounds so ominous. Vince is cool. I'm we so mad that him. he's not one of the dating options. He's a single dad, and we can't date him, and I'm mad. He's a single dad who just looks dope. He's got this awesome personality. Like, he's the yeah. ultimate super dad. Yeah, he's the best, and I'm so mad we can't date him. I, I've apparently been told at some point I also need to play Dream Daddy, so... Oh, yeah, so then we can date some dads. I will I will be <laughs> maybe someday playing a game where I'm dating dads. <laughs> maybe that'll be the next thing if I redeem more channel points. <laughs> <laughs> maybe play Dream Dad. It happens a lot where people are going to want me to play these kinds of games. I don't know Just why. Just because it's ridiculous and it's very not your style. Yeah, I was going to start playing Arkham Asylum tonight. <laughs> No. It's going to start playing some Batman games again, no. but uh, nope, this is uh, on the list, so. No. Yeah. That's okay. I'm enjoying it, though. Uh, choice is yours, apparently. We can choose to be exiled. I mean, yeah, if you refuse to work, you get exiled. Makes sense. I clutched my new uniform against my chest. Even though I felt like I was in pretty good shape, it made me nervous for him to take it so seriously. <laughs> I think of us like a family. If you have any problems, you can come to me. I encourage you all to get to know each other, take care of each other, and remember who will have your back if things go badly. Sounds ominous. I mean, I hope he means he that they He felt quiet will help and glanced them. around the room. I looked around. Were we supposed to say something? Now get to work! There were no instructions. As soon as he finished speaking, he was immediately pulled aside by someone. I looked down at the clothing in my arms and followed the others to change. When I returned, Eva stood with some of the other officers. They began to walk toward us... Uh, to walk us through the job board and what the various assignments meant. Our uniform looks cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have to do paperwork today. So lame. Paperwork? Yeah, you have to file the reports. It's really boring. I guess I'm glad I don't have to do it. <laughs> she smirked at me, but then someone called her away. Someone else pointed me toward a desk piled with paper and <laughs> folders. So I got started. You know what? The library wasn't an available career option. I know. Well, that's because they have one librarian, and it's a small library. I guess. Yeah. Who reads reports in an apocalypse. Presumably these people and the government. Because there a, there's a mayor. It's, yeah, it's very safe in the bunker. And the idea is that, like, she just got here, and she is living here now. But, like, it's super crazy on the surface. Mm -hmm. um, but here, it's, like, normal life. And she, it's her, like, adjusting to... Normal life, basically. You should make green screen shirt be a card or point redeem. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, we should do yeah. that as a card in the future here. As soon as I get Streamlids working again, mm -hmm. I will add a bunch of cards. Thank you for all the suggestions. Maybe I should make a suggestion thing in our Discord. Yeah, make a suggestion box in oh, our Discord. Also, do you want to share our Discord? Ah, yeah, yeah actually, I can share social, social real Anybody wants here. to hang out with us in Discord? Yeah. So here's our Discord. You can always join us there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Vex beat me to it. Oh, Vex beat me to it. Well done, Thanks, Vex. Vex. Uh, then also we have our socials here, which if you want to follow us on other what? platforms, such as um, Facebook or go see our videos, Is our VODs social? over yeah, on YouTube, you can always find them right here. Assuming Nightbob wants to cooperate. I'm pretty oh, sure right. it's you just... didn't put an S on the end, and I was confused by that. It's well, just social. Got I got my, my idea, idea for Monday. Monday. Yes, it remember? was the uh, poll one. Create a poll? Yes. Yeah. All right. The work was pretty intuitive, which was a relief. The room was a bit rowdy, but overall friendly. Yay. You forgot your idea. How did you forget? <laughs> Aw. Uh, work I was it. over, and I had some time to kill. What is Icarus? Find out. I really want to gym it, though, but I got to know what Icarus is. I mean, you can go tomorrow. You'll have this option every night that you work. Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna gym it for today. Okay, gym for today. You're worried about fitness. Oh, Micah's oh look, it's here. Micah. I walked in and saw Micah pacing around the walking track. He was walking fairly slowly and seemed deep in thought. Just work out. <laughs> I worked out alone and left. It was getting late and I was tired. Time for bed. 
I probably should have talked to him to create a more interesting thing, but I wasn't really thinking about that tonight. I'm I know, more thinking I about know. trying to up our fitness overall so our character mm-hmm. feels more confident. Poor, Poor Micah. Micah. Micah is a very standoffish character. Yeah, so far. he he yeah, he always gave me the wrong he gave me the wrong impression like right away. So yeah. The yeah. ones that I related to the most were uh Jude and Eva. Eva just has the personality that I really like in well pardon this romantic partners. Yeah. <laughs> I like women who can kick my ass. <laughs> it's a thing. Uh and then Jude is all about nineties grunge rock. And plants. And pl- well, plants less so for me, but I'm really into. The, I'm, I'm 90s a, grunge rock and plants. I was like, "Yep, it's Jude." I'm a guitar player. I was in a grunge band for a while. It's what I'm all into. So, I got up and headed out to grab coffee before work. I looked at the board and saw that I was assigned to work the front, meaning I got to sit by the entrance and stare at the wall. <laughs> wow, we are getting shit jobs. Aww. Did you get assigned paperwork again? No, I'm at the entrance today. That's not so bad. It's better than paperwork. Anything is better than paperwork. Vex. Vex, be nice to Moxio. I smiled at him and nodded. Moxio doesn't know you. That's true. Be nice to new people. (laughs) Right? She patted my shoulder and moved on to do whatever she was supposed to be doing. I sighed and headed out. It was going to be a long day. I mean, you can mod me if you want. <laughs> we'll talk about that later, I guess, Marcio. If you join our Discord, we can chat about it. We do need some mods. We do need some more mods. He is the one. He's the one better me. Why are you? Be- <laughs> <laughs> because we know you better than that. <laughs> I sat there for my entire shift, bored out of my mind. Vex, were you here when I actually had to ban someone? Oh yeah. I actually had to ban someone the other day. I was like, wow, this is a first. Yeah, okay. Work was over, and I had some time to kill. I'm going to Icarus. I gotta know what this Icarus thing is. It's the bar! bar! (laughs) I walked into the area that had been labeled as Icarus. There were a few familiar and unfamiliar faces spread throughout the room. A woman stood behind the bar handing out booze for beads. Beads are the currency here. Oh, okay. Did you not get that originally? I did, but I just... Okay, but the chat probably doesn't know because they're mostly new. That's true, yeah. yeah. She eyed me suspiciously for a moment, but then went back to work. There were dartboards, pool tables, card tables, and even a jukebox. Music played, but I didn't recognize it. It almost seemed like a, more like a rattling in the background. I can't believe there's a jukebox here. Like, how did they find a working jukebox? <laughs> well, in Fallout, that's a thing too, though. You yeah, can find true. functional jukeboxes, or you can just but fix like, them. There, there's barely even functional jukeboxes now. You could, you'd be surprised. You can actually find digital ones that are pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. The woman approached me. Her scrutiny was starting to make me nervous. Beads for booze. What you want? <laughs> oh, um, are you the bartender? Yep, but I used to own a similar place. I like to think of this as my little, as this little place is mine. The mayor doesn't mind? She shrugged. Call me Sam and tell me what you want. <laughs> I don't have a usual. It's It'll my first time here. <laughs> It'll ask my usual. you what your usual is. Ah. <laughs> uh, the most alcohol possible. Whiskey with ice! Yeah! I like the burn of whiskey. After giving me a whiskey on the rock, she leaves. I spent some time quietly watching people go in and out of the place before getting bored and going back home. I really wish I knew where people hang out. I know. It's different all the time. That's what... You can't even track it? I know. I had so much trouble that I'm like, oh, if I go this place, maybe Jude will be there. And he wasn't there. Mint in my rum. My rum. Mojitos, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a scotch guy. I'm a whiskey guy. I got up and headed out to grab coffee before work. It was just another day on the security force. I filed all the reports and cycled out the ones that were too old to be addressed in the future. Same old, same old. Work was over and I had some time to kill. We're going to gym it up. <laughs> You're never going to go back to the library, are you? I can go back eventually, but I walked in and heard some loud thuds and grunting. Sam was beating the shit out of a punching bag. She, was, she wasn't she was wearing any gear and her hands looked a little red. Oh, Sam. Check on her. Fuck off. I'm not in the mood. Right. I made a quick exit. As I walked out, I could hear the intensity of her punches slow down. But I didn't get to work out! It was getting late and I was tired. Time for bed. 
That did nothing for me. Nope. Save. Yeah, that's a good idea, Vex. I'll save. Actually, let's just go ahead and... You can also overwrite any of mine. I've already played through it. Yeah, we're just going to resave over ours, though. I don't need to go back and redo that part. Okay. Return. Okay, uh, return. Yep. Rum or fruity martinis are the way to go. Mm -hmm. I like rum. Don't get me wrong. I do like rum, but I definitely prefer whiskey myself. For some reason, I just picked that character as liking like whiskey on the rocks, so that's what I picked for her, even though that's not my go-to. You should pick what you like, though. I got up and headed out to grab a coffee before work. I was sitting at the desk pretending to do paperwork when the door busted open and Vince and Eva came in. Between them, they were clutching a very, very drunk man. I stood up. I wasn't sure if they wanted me to help. Despite his angry, slurred words, he seemed pretty docile. They handed him off to be booked. Eva saw me watching and spoke up. The doc had to drug him. Don't just stand there, people. Get back to work. You've all seen Mr. Clark before. I mean, you haven't. I, I have not. Some shouted about him being home again, and there was laughter. I guess this guy was a bit of a troublemaker. I went back to my paperwork. The rest of the day was fairly quiet. Work was over, and I had some time to kill. I'm going to gym one more time. <laughs> Nothing particularly interesting was going on in the gym today. There were a few things I could do. Tabby's here! Yeah, Tabby hangs out in the gym all the time. Yeah, we're going to talk to Tabby. <laughs> Classic Mr. Clark. Yep. Mm-hmm. Dang that. Mr. I saw Clark. Tabby sitting alone. She was leaning against the wall with her eyes closed. Maybe she was taking a nap. <laughs> As I approached Tabby, her eyes opened and she looked over at me. What? This is a strange place to take a nap. She shrugged her shoulders and crossed her arms. Do you hang out here a lot? I guess. I like to come here and work out. Your dad's got pr a pretty hard rule about fitness for his security officers. I know. You came here from the surface, right? It dawned on me that Tabby was probably born here. We already confirmed that she was. I yeah. Guess that's always the... And uh, does, sta does sand still shake out of my hair? I ran a hand through my hair and made a show of looking for sand. A little bit might actually have come out. <laughs> Tabby smiled. No. What's it like up there? My dad won't tell me. He won't tell you? She sighed and rolled her eyes. He says it doesn't matter because I'll never go out there. Then people like you come here and I don't know why people can't go back up there unless they're bad. I blinked as she kept attempting to rationalize it. Were you bad, but then good, so they let you come back? I was born up there. Were your parents bad? No, at least I don't think so. Most people come from the surface. Cities uh -oh. like the, uh, these are hard to come by. Really? Yeah. Is, Is this, this foreshadowing? foreshadowing? It could very well be. I mean, we've already found out that there's a, like, a group of bandits or something up there. The Sandman. The Sandman, yeah. She nodded. I wasn't sure what it would be like to grow to have grown up here. She really had no idea what it was like on the surface. I couldn't help but wonder what it was like. What that was like, sorry. Okay, you didn't look like you'd been exiled for something. I hope I never get exiled. Tabby smiled at me shyly. I'll tell my dad not to exile you no matter what. If you play ball with me. <laughs> ball? Yeah, it's a game. I'll show you how to play. Aww. She stood up and grabbed a small, heavy ball. She then proceeded to teach me a weird set of rules involving... She needs new pants. Uh, look at those holes. I know, I keep looking yeah. at, the, at the giant rips in her pants. I'm like, she needs new jeans. Yeah. Involving catching and throwing the ball. I did not understand, but that only seemed to amuse her. It was getting late and I was tired. Time for bed. <laughs> I was really hoping we could get a standing bump. Yeah. You didn't even get a tabby bump. Not yet. You should go to the library tomorrow. I mean, you should do whatever you want, but you haven't been to the library yet this week. Okay. What? Do whatever I'll, you no, want. No, I'll go to the library. Yeah, I got up and headed out to grab coffee before work. It was just another day on the security force. I worked in the armory, taking inventory and signing. I want to see this see armory. armory. Yeah, there is no picture of the armory. We got shown it, but it was just a dark screen. Same old, same old. Aw. But mom stopped me. Wow. Her outfit looks pretty. There you are. I've been waiting for you. Huh? All of the departments are having a party at the bar to celebrate the first week of work. Oh, Come guess on, we're going get to the ready. Bar. Guess I'm going to the bar. Never mind. Oh, really? I sort of remembered someone talking about it, but I hadn't paid attention. Yeah, come on, let's go. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it mandatory? I just got home. Come on, Killjoy, let's go celebrate. Hurry up and get changed. <laughs> Your name makes perfect sense all of a sudden. <coughs> Why? Because she had to convince you to go to a party. Come on, Killjoy. It's because I myself actually I am know, a Killjoy. You are. It's kind of a pain, but... She took my hands mm -hmm. and squeezed them. Okay. 
Killjoy aptly named. Yep. That's what I said. I go by the moniker typically Killroy, but uh, Killroy on a girl Joy. seemed wrong. <laughs> so you're Killjoy? Yeah, I'm Killjoy. <laughs> okay. It's still accurate of me. Have you ever seen the Twitter post about the woman whose grandma fixed her distress jeans Aww, when she was just... I have it, but that's adorable. I also I had, it. but they, yeah, that does sound like a great little story. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining the girl was very upset. Probably. We got ready and headed out to the party. I would rather stay in my bed, but Mom really wanted to go. Icarus was really busy. The music bounced off the walls, and there were people everywhere I looked. I felt a hand on my shoulder and looked to see Mom giving it a squeeze. She pointed off somewhere and then, I, and then left. I assumed she saw someone she wanted to talk to. I was on my own now, and the warm, stagnant air was already starting to make me feel claustrophobic. Yay! Claustrophobia in loud bar settings. Mm-hmm. Too relatable. Mm-hmm. A drink, or maybe I could find a quiet corner somewhere. I needed to do something other than standing here awkwardly. Uh, let's get a drink at the bar. I approached the bar and saw that Sam was very busy, but she also seemed to be having a blast. Hmm. Jude sat near her, and they were having some kind of humorous conversation. Killjoy, you seem to be in a good mood. That's because he just ha he, he he has, he has had just, just had enough. enough to drink to be a pain in the ass. Fair enough. <laughs> Jude laughed and turned away from Sam to look at me. How are you doing, Killjoy? You're in Camden now, the wonderful sanctuary of the hell that is this world. <laughs> God, he's such a relatable character. I love Jude. Jude's my favorite. He opened his arms wide and then dropped them. You are You're drunk. drunk. And you should be. Let me buy you a drink. What will you have? I guess a whiskey on the rocks. You don't have to buy it, though. I can do that. Nonsense. All right. <laughs> Sam began to make my drink while Jude pulled a, a small, round, mechanical thing out of his pocket. You know what this is? No idea. Me either. But look. <laughs> He held it out to me and pushed a button. The screen lit up with a tiny dark, uh, with tiny dark dots that moved around. It beeped, though the sound was distorted. It sounded like music. Isn't it cool? I wonder what people use these tiny things for. He looked back down at it and pushed another button. It caused the music to squeak out in a different tone. That's really cool, actually. It's probably like a little pocket synth, like a teenage engineering pocket operator or something like that. <laughs> right? I just wish I knew more about it. I nodded and took my drink as Sam held it out to me. Sam left, busy with another customer. <laughs> I looked down at my drink and tried to think of something else to say. Jude seemed like a nice guy, but at the moment, he was drunk to the point of silliness. It was weird seeing him so open. His wrist didn't even have the rubber band it usually that usually dangled there. He saw me looking and held his hands out for me. It's in my pocket. The skin was a bit raw in places, and there was an old wet head. Uh, an old welt. Oh, welt. Right. Fuck, I'm <laughs> fading fast, I guess. Oh, dear. Uh, that probably created this morning. I sighed and touched the skin gently. Then I looked up at him, and I saw he was looking down at me. Our eyes met. <laughs> and anything I had meant to say died in my throat. His eyes moved down to my lips. And then there was a loud smack at the bar next to us. Jude, drink some water. Aww. Sam pushed a cup of water towards Jude and swiftly left the scene without meeting my gaze. He cleared his throat and didn't meet my eyes. Um, so, I'm going to help Sam and wash some dishes. He finally looked at me with a small smile. Smile. I'll see you around. The night wore on and it was time to go. People were leaving. The music was turned down. Sam looked ready to start physically kicking people out of the bar. Mom joined me back. Mom joined back up with me and we walked home. It was getting late and I was tired. Time for bed. Okay. Nothing changed today. I felt like hell. Mm -mm. Mom had already left. She must have decided to let me sleep in. My head was pounding. I rolled out of bed and stumbled into drink. the and stumbled to the kitchen sink for some water. The chill felt nice on my forehead. It had been a long time since I had felt this way. I glanced around the room and tried to find something to provide relief. I could just go to the clinic. Maybe they had something for the pain. Or I could just go back to bed. I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> bed looked really good. I fell back onto the mattress and closed my eyes until I fell back asleep. I woke up feeling a lot better. There wasn't any work to do today, so maybe I could try to see someone. Let's go talk to Eva. <laughs> see what Eva's up to. I headed outside to walk around. I was anxious to stretch my legs. I started to walk in a random direction when somebody tapped me on the shoulder. Oh, come on! <laughs> what? Hey, Kildred, I was just heading to the gym. Want to come? We can race. I turned to see Eva standing tall with a large bottle of water in her hand. Race? Yeah, on the running track. It's more fun if you're with someone. All right, that sounds fun. 
Running was just what I needed right now. Great. If it was anyone else, I'd try to put money on it. I'm pretty fast, you know. <laughs> Besides, you know how Vince is. Gotta keep in shape or you'll never hear the end of it. True. <laughs> the gym was quiet. Hardly anyone was here. Ava dropped her gear and pulled her overshirt off and then began to stretch. I averted my eyes before she caught me staring at her toned arms and shoulders. <laughs> Luckily, I wore good shoes for running and lightweight clothing. I hadn't planned to exercise, but here I was. You're wearing jeans, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Distressed, ripped ones, but... Yeah, that doesn't sound like good running clothes. We can just race one lap, then just jog. She smiled at me and pointed at her f and put her foot at the white line. That's the start and finish, okay? All right. We stood behind the line, and I tried to mimic Ava's stance. She began to count, and then we ran. I held her pace for a while, but then she started running faster. I had no idea how. I couldn't keep up. Just got a text message. It's your turn. Please proceed into your clinic. My appointment was like two hours ago. <laughs> oh, wow. That's weird. And you already got it. It's not like you're just two hours. Like your appointment's been delayed two hours. No, that's actually kind of funny, yeah. though. I mean, I'm glad you got it anyways, but... Yeah, I mean... As we got to close to the finish line, it was obvious Eva was a winner. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe I should have let you win? Why? I don't know. She glanced down and began to hop on one foot, uh, one foot to the other. Well, come on. Let's keep going. Eva perked up, smiling wide. Right. We began to jog again, keeping the pace slow so we could chat a bit as we went. I haven't been on the surface in years. I keep hoping it'll get better somehow. Yeah? I don't see that happening anytime soon. Yeah, I guess. I've got relatives on the surface still. They won't come here, though. What? Why not? Eva sighed, and for a moment, I didn't think she would reply. They say they're old and were born up there, so they'll die up there. That is actually a very real personality. Yep. She shook her head. Your parents? No, my grandparents, I guess. The people who raised me, anyway. I don't know if we're blood, if we're blood related. Mm -hmm. Oh. She shrugged it off, the movement elegant. She got quiet, so I decided to not bring it up. And instead, I made small talk. I had a lot of fun with Eva, and after we went our separate ways, I wanted to shower, <laughs> and she planned to work out more. It was getting late, and I was tired. Time for bed. So I figured what we're going to go for is we'll finish the second week, go to week three, mm -hmm. and then we'll call it for the night. OMG? OMG what, Vex? <laughs> You just, you just woke, woke up, up and, and talked, talked to, to someone some... for 30 seconds and now you're going to bed. Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that the a dream come okay. true? We woke up, decided our head hurt too much, went back to bed, woke up like mid-afternoon, uh, went to the gym, raced, and then worked out, and then went home. But yeah. yes, we're still going to bed quite early. When I woke up, I saw that mom was sitting at the table happily sewing something. Since when do you sew? I know how to sew. I know that, but you hate to do it. Yet, here you are, humming away. Oh, hush. What are you sewing, anyway? I'm patching up an old scarf. An old scarf? Which one? She wants to fix the holes in your pants. I wish! <laughs> it's the it's one of Rick's. Of course it is. Oh. We don't like Rick. He's the cult leader. He's a cult leader. He's gotta be. He was thinking about donating it to one of the fabric stores, but I told him I could patch it up for him. Hmm. Is that part of your job as his assistant? Oh, he told me not to bother, but I insisted. She was smiling, and I could tell she was now a lost cause. I sighed. There was no stopping it now. Yes, our mom is obsessed with the, the intercom computer. lit up, and the static filled, uh, static filled voice began an announcement. Camden Community Meeting, everyone. Please make your way to the community center as soon as possible. I looked at mom, and she smiled. Are these going to be a weekly thing? I believe so. Come on. I've got to get there early and make sure everything is ready for Rick. You want to just not go? I'll like, leave with my mom now. Okay. All right, all right. Let me get my stuff together. I got ready quickly while mom urged me on. Then we rushed to the community center. Mom was by the mayor who had his freshly darned scarf. Creeped around his throat. Darned? Yeah, that's what that when you patch something, it's darning. Huh. Yeah. Things Liam did not know. I mean, you can, like, patch it with a patch, and that's patching. But if you actually, like, use thread to fill the hole, it's darning. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I learned something. He was smiling at Mom while preparing to socks. step on the stage. <laughs> the room was filled with people, and I grabbed a cup of coffee and sat near the back. 
Good afternoon, everyone. It always brings me so much joy to see all your faces on a day like this. <laughs> First, let me update everyone on last week's news. The Career Festival was a success. All of our new fa residents have joined a career and should be fitting in nicely. I hate that voice. I hate him, so I'm going to do enough. it. Resource production is steady as usual. And other than some stormy weather on the horizon, everything appears peaceful on the surface. <laughs> he began to drone on and on, talking about all kinds of things I knew nothing about. Announcements and upcoming events. I could just read about it on the bulletin board. I rubbed the bridge of my nose and sipped my coffee. Hopefully this meeting would be over soon. Eventually, he got off the stage and went straight to my mother. I perked up and watched him pat his scarf and say something to, to her with a smile. Who is that, Gossip Monger? Gossip Monger number two. I don't know. Do you think our eligible mayor has finally decided to settle down? They giggled like girls several years younger than them. It looks like she's just his secretary or whatever. In all the years I, we've lived here, have you ever uh, even uh, have you ever heard even the smallest rumor about him and someone special? I stood up and left. I couldn't stomach to hear anymore. <laughs> Mom can meet me at home for later. For now, I needed to go home. I just needed to get out of the crazy cluster of people. I walked back and strongly considered just laying in bed, but I ended up waiting up for her to come home. I don't know why the fact that he is not, like, a, a player who gets around with the new residents would make her more upset. Like, wouldn't it be better if he's serious about her mom? I... Rather than just I'm sure there's a newbies? good logical explanation that we don't personally know. <sighs> I mean, she thinks her mom's going to get herself in trouble because she usually did on the surface with relationships, which is what she's. That's said. valid, though. Yeah. I had some time to do something before the day was over. I'm going to go get a drink. <laughs> nothing was particularly nothing particularly interesting was going on at Icarus today. There were a few things I could do. Let's hang out with Sam. <laughs> Sam looked unusually busy today. I walked in and close enough for her to nod at me and then start to complain. I am so damn behind. The mayor needs to give me an assistant or something. Fuck! Yeah, running this place my alone must be hard. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just bitching. This ain't nothing compared to what I was running on the surface. At least I don't have to serve the occasional Sandman or Warlord. There's Warlords! Yep. Great! Oh, I boy. That must have been awful. I can help you clean up if you like. Sam glanced at me, eyebrow raised. Then she pointed towards the sink of dirty dishes. I'm not about to stop you. Help yourself. I ran the water and started to wash the dishes. Bunch of squiggly, jipple, idle loopers. <laughs> squiggly, jipple, little loopers? Oh, it is little loopers, yeah. Okay, then. H who are? I don't know. Okay. Uh, it was mostly glasses and pitchers, so it was easy. There was just a lot of it. As time crawled on and pitchers began to leave, it grew quieter and quieter, and then only me and Sam were, and then they were the only two left. Icarus, were, Icarus gets pretty busy at night. It's crazier on the weekends. Makes sense. I mean, Crowds are nowhere fun, near as bad as my though. old place. It didn't have a name, just The Bar. <laughs> really? I was set up in a small outpost town between the cities, at least until the Sandmen came and trashed the place. A warlord? Yeah, they fucked everything. She gritted her teeth and began to wipe down the counter furiously. People were killed. She slammed her fist on the table and then buried her face in her hands. Thanks for the chat. You can go now. Thanks for the, the chat. Her voice was a whisper. Sam Art. Just go! I backed away and left. She looked ready to throw stuff at me. I must have brought up some bad memories. Sam. It was um, getting late and I was tired. Time for bed. If you're pursuing Jude, like, do you want me to tell you something about that? Because you're not going to know because sure. you're not pursuing Jude. Uh, so the people who died were Jude's parents, and that's uh, how she is Jude's mom, essentially. She is, right. Yeah. Yeah, spoilers <laughs> that we are never going to learn, I don't think. Or maybe I we mean, will, I don't know. I don't know, depends how much you pursue Jude. Well, I might have to come back to this next week. Mm -hmm, uh, because we're done for today? That's enough for today, yeah. Okie dokie. Good, because I just got a text from Selena saying she's ready for our movie night. All right, so it's time for a movie night with the roommate. Mm-hmm. And chocolate cake. Yeah. So I want to thank everybody who hung out with me tonight and Amber as she hung out with us as well. Not going to be a usual thing, but I think while we're nope. playing this, it might be. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, as long um, as you're I'm still happy. considering coming back to this next week. So if I do come back to it next week, stay tuned to see where I go with this next. <laughs> and if I don't, well, 
I'll come back to it at some point, I'm sure. Uh, but thank you for hanging out. Thank you, R.L. Richie, for the raid and yeah. everyone who joined us and wanted to hang out. I hope you have a great rest of your night and a good week, and we'll catch you next time. Did you set up Nightbot with shoutouts? And also, we should raid someone. I did neither of those things. We should raid someone. That's a separate thing. Okay, well, let's thing. see who's up and running right now. Uh, uh, not a lot of folks right now. I mean, Dork Tales is probably not something you want to hop into towards the end. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think I mean, we'll... why not Pokemon Platinum? Chop Combs? Your call. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, well, yeah, then we'll, we'll yeah. prepare to raid uh, Chapagons here. Um, they're doing a playthrough of Pokemon Platinum by the look of it, so we'll go ahead with that. Vex, what did Vex forget? To r remind us to raid. Oh, you forgot to remind us. Thank you. Yeah, so we'll yeah, go ahead and set up that were. raid there. I always forget. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and raid them in a hot second here as well. Um, Woohoo! I, I remembered today, guys. I'm and doing better. And <laughs> here we go. You guys ready? Let's go say hi. I never said this. I wonder if there was a shout out or is it just a Too many. Because I've never set up a shout out before either. <laughs> 